What's going on, it's your boy Bash and Tina? It's your boy H Black the Source. Yo, it's your boy Moyo here. Fourth of July, cocktails and takeaway live show. It's about to be a Mazza. I'm gonna be there, so you better be there. Yeah. Smile, enjoy. <laughs> I'll see you there. It's about to be sweet, sweet. You're done now. boobs i feel like god gave me the breast i have because if i had breasts that yeah. was like this i would not know how the fuck to act don't you think though that god like it's it makes sense certain things you don't have yeah. because if you did it's like it's done for everyone it's, it's finished done if i could sing yo <laughs> let me tell you lord it's done it's done Beyonce. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Honestly, I feel like after certain parts of my life, I'm like, yeah. listen, God used God gave it to me to humble me. Yes. For example, like I wish I always wish I had small. You, like, you, you're confident anyways. You have this energy. So imagine if you had like you know if I had the small packy breast. If I had small like honestly, everyone. If I had small perky breasts, yeah, Jesus Christ. You know, like sometimes I see girls wearing those tops and they're like literally like V neck, but like you can see their belly button. I swear oh. to God, the V will be the V would be to the top of my pussy. <gasps> The V would be to the top of my pussy because it would, and I'll just be sitting. <laughs> yeah, of course. I mean, if God gave it, then show them. Listen, like, I'm gonna, I'm gonna do it, God. But anyways, guys, I want to say big motherfucking welcome to you. Happy Wednesday. We back again. You better tell a friend because it is not the end because we in another motherfucking episode. And it's your girl, Madam Joyce, of course. If you are new here, what is good? And if you are a bad boy or girl, what it do? What's up? we back again so i hope everyone's had a fantastic week and yeah um there's an elephant in the room there's elephant. an elephant in the room not you we're gonna get to you first oh. but the real elephant, the real elephant the in real the elephant? room is that y'all oh yeah talk about that y'all ain't never seen that i cut my heel Natural. <laughs> no way i'll never see no babe i never thought see. it was a wig listen if i see girls do the short wig thing i believe who had it Wumi had one. I saw Wumi, and that was really good. And I actually went to go look for the girl yeah. that done it. And it was like, not to be rude, but <laughs> it was almost like 200 pounds. And it's like 200 pounds to do a wig that barely has any hair. Wait, what? Are you joking? On God, it was like 200 pounds. It was 200 pounds for a wig that barely has any hair Please on it. You need to calm down. <laughs> like, Jamie, do you know what? It actually has me so annoyed. Like, why would you pay 200 pounds for something that's gonna last maybe two, three days? And it's there's no hair. There's no. It's not like Ooh. it's a twenty six inch body wave. It's As to in the scalp. It's literally to the scalp. Wow, that's yeah, really cheeky. And obviously, I wasn't trying to. You know me. I'm. 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 Res I'm a respectable lady. I'm not gonna be like, oh yeah, can you come do me promo. So I said, do you know what? Yeah, let me just cut my hair. I said, wow. I can cut my hair for tatty queen. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Hair for tatty queen. Even for free, if you actually want to cut it yourself, like, do you know what I mean? Like, you could Please do that. Please don't do that. Okay, I'm, I uh, actually I'm saw. I saw one girl on uh, TikTok. Yes. And she did one DIY cut, and then she just had to shave the whole thing bald. <laughs> <laughs> like to the skin, one all over. Wow. You just have to do it. But yeah, I went to some girl, she's amazing. She she like styled really and cut good. it and stuff. But I don't know. I've been in a phase where I just like to try different things. Yeah. And the last time I cut my hair and I did finger waves when, when I was like in my depression, I just broke up with one stupid fucking boy. It's yet. always, don't you find it mad? Always be these stupid chewing gum boys that just elevate us to just unlock another level. Like, why must you like give me heartbreak for me to unlock I'm another level? Honestly, that boy really killed me. It took me two years to get over that heartbreak. Wow. And in the process, what? I cut my hair and everything. But I was like, I really like the cut. Mm -hmm. So that was then. Obviously, I'm not going through a heartbreak break and i'm not depressed guys but i wanted to try something really new and different and i was like the short hair was given when i was depressed so, so let me bring it back i love it because i love that picture of you at um little mermaid it was so lovely you look gorgeous I and i thought it was a wig everyone i thought it was a wig i was thinking yeah this girl is snap slayed and everything it's not a wig it's the oh. hair from my scalp like honestly like i am I rocking it. about one and a half inches right now and i'm fucking loving it i did say that i was gonna cut my hair mm -hmm. um after my live show but then i just decided fuck, oh, it, just fuck it. it i just decided let me do it now would you ever shave it completely and start completely afresh do you know what? i've done it so many times so is I can't, it like, honestly underneath this under th there's been times where underneath my wig i'm bold. scalping bold scalping wow. bold but yeah 
the last three years I've been growing out my hair. Good. Because obviously I just kind of felt like I had a disconnection for my hair, but now yeah. I was growing it. But I was like, do you know what? Let me just style it and give you some natural beauty. Mm. Do you know Let's, what I love that you just said? A what? disconnect with my hair. Yeah. Because I felt like that. You know when it's just there? There's no, there's just nothing other than the fact that it's growing it's out. It's growing my, out your yeah, hair. Like, yeah, it's like, just like, like your pussy think. hair. It's just yeah, like, it's just there. It off. Yeah. yeah, so but, to get a connection again is a big deal. Do like, you want to nice talk thing. about your hair journey while yeah, Let's talk about it. Yeah, so I don't think you, 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 did you mention it in your documentary? Yeah, 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 yeah. So I talked about, I did my hairline. Yes. Well, I don't feel like I'd done my hairline because I think when you think of hairline, it's like for men, anyways, it's like they usually bring it forward. I didn't do that. It was Mm -hmm. more like filling in where I had like had very weak hair follicles. It, like when I put my hair up, I could just see it just wasn't as full as the other parts. Yeah. And I just really wanted to just. You know them ones where I just want to wake up, put my hair in a bun and go. Like yeah. I don't want to have to have a bonnet on or just worry about stuff like that. And it's my own fault whilst I got myself there. So I thought it's time. Because I said I want to be, when it, when I, oops, sorry. When I get to 30, I want to just be my sexiest, most confident. Yes. And it's like, I thought, oh, why do I wait till 30? Let me just do it now. So Her. yeah. So yeah. That, and you know what? I love that. I feel like there's there's this weird thing where people's like, I'll wait till then yeah. when I get shit done. And so just do it now. But your hair's growing back. It looks fabulous. I believe you guys had a... Um, I should have came here natural if I knew we were going to have this chat. Oh no, my no, no, you, you did natural at, on press. Yeah, I did press natural. Ideola, and I, and it looked fabulous. Oh, thank I saw that it looked you. really, really good. That was really, really the good. first time since the last time I was on press with my hair out um, because when you see the difference as well Joyce oh my god when I look back at the size at the difference like whoa like it has grown I'm very proud of myself so I'm yeah. very proud of you I'm very <laughs> proud. it looks fabulous thank but you but yeah guys listen y'all don't be motherfucking afraid to cut your hair and get you a little yeah. hair transplant we ain't motherfucking judging on here you better no. do your thing but Where's just before we get into our guest intro I just want to talk to some of the bad boys and girls because I have been looking at the naughty corner where you guys have been saying the most and doing the most and I'm just going to read what some of y'all have been saying for last week's episode oh my god this is so exciting so i just went to the research show and can i just say beyonce beyonce yeah defo wear denim and diamonds people are doing cowboy hats and feathers and we need to shout out yes and that was from clocks obviously we were talking about going to the beyonce concert and we were trying to figure out what we're wearing and i kind of felt like we should have like this denim and diamond swag kind of style like we need to give canty because one thing i would be very upset with even though it's probably going to happen all the gay girlies are going to be shown the fuck <laughs> out no they you will. already know what it is you know I, I don't want i don't want to be outshunned no, so especially I want, when your main character is very hard to even shine over to be honest i just want to match <laughs> fuck the over i know I, I can't beat the gay boys i just want to match i just i, I just want to try and reach their standard because they so, always take it to another level don't you think they always another level. Even at Coachella, oh my god! If you saw the way they the were, they were outshining everyone. I was they like, were wow. Sh- Listen, I was just keep looking at my two piece, and I'm just like, you're just so fucking embarrassing. Like <laughs> they came with feathers, diamonds, the mantis, naked tassels, tassels. Like, everything. It was giving gay. I said, <laughs> I want to join. I want to be involved. Same. I want to be involved. But this, I've learned my lesson. Mm. Coachella, I learned my lesson. I said, I'm. Yeah. I I also would like to do. Crap. What's Kanj? Yes. C U N T. Yes. What's ca- I know like, what it's like is, this what? term that the gay boys use. Right. When it's like when stuff is like given. Do you know? Can we can we give a description for 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 our ballroom girlies? Can you just give a description <laughs> somewhere because it's like pussy power. Yeah, kind and of a thing. Because you know how they say that women's p- is power, so it's kind yeah. of it's giving pa- like yeah. power. I get it's it. Giving I'm here for it. Power. I don't know why you don't. <laughs> 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 oh my god listen don't let uh, don't let thing demonetize me honestly <laughs> what's don't so let... funny joyce i can't believe you said this because me and sarah were walk we were driving in and i was like do you know what word like swearing we're saying which was which swear words like we say a lot mm. and i was saying how the c word is a word i don't say at all and for you to come and say oh my god that i'm like whoa yeah it's That's... it's <sighs> i'm sorry how are we here? i'm sorry i'm just sh- i'm just giving swear words out like, i'm just like <laughs> i'm just putting swear words in their vocabulary now she's not going to be able to stop saying it yeah stop don't saying, say they'll, no. depo- they'll demonetize us no, they'll I say don't sorry like guys either, but we don't yeah i don't when like the but that. i think when the, when the when the girl used to, when the girl say it, it's like, it's it's like, like it, it means something different <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah so um d1 yeah commenting on ash holmes episode said i feel like nowadays people want to say fat phobic when mm, i'm not even gonna read that out no bro. read it 
Read it, Joyce. I feel like people nowadays want to say fat phobic when people are generally not healthy. You can love yourself and still not want to remain on the bigger side. If you aren't at your optimum health because of weight, why not lose it? So obviously we were talking about kind of like the fat phobia, like obviously like how um, people can be quite sensitive to like yeah. certain things. I think we were talking about a girl who said, if you want to lose weight, yeah. that makes you fat phobic. Like if you want to lose weight, you're fat phobic. How? Um, what the fuck? Yeah, but I feel like, listen, be and do who you want. You yeah. know, I love the bigger girls. I love the skinny legends. I love everybody. Yeah. But if it's a thing where you're losing weight because of your health. Yeah. I wouldn't say it's fat phobic. No, but of course not. Listen, it's your health. I mean... You don't want to yeah, die. You don't want, yeah, but, Nobody wants to die. Like, there's some women who are big and they're voluptuous yeah. and they're healthy. So it yeah. depends. I think it's, it's not one size fits all. Yeah. But guys, with that being motherfucker said, thank you as well. If you guys want to be involved in the motherfucking naughty corner, make sure that you comment on this episode and we might be reading out your stuff next week. <laughs> okay. And with that being said, I would love to introduce my guest. So this very sexy somebody came last year. And um, she came with our other sister, mm-hmm. but she's here by herself today. She came, she got the breasts out and the nipples Indeed. out just for me. Oh God, I'm trying to, I hide them. <laughs> <laughs> trying to hide them. And I love them. No, 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 they look, they look fab. I told you, listen, honestly, I'm the wrong, I'm the wrong person to advise. You're because a bad influence. I'm a bad you influence are. because I will actually wear, I will wear um, cling film. And not care. Sometimes I not give a fuck. Joyce, you know, sometimes I actually don't give a fuck. Because you, it's you like. You should not give a head. Yeah, and it's like, if you look, it's like face front. If Just I, face front. Just mind your mind business. Mind your business. Mind your business. But this week, she is back again with us in the studio. She is a content creator. She is a model. She is a CE motherfucking O. And she is one of two of an amazing podcast called Pressed which is a BBC thing, if you want to motherfucking know. Yes, she's back again, my friend, Maria Musa. Yeah, let's have it! Let's look at it! Let's look at it! Ooh, 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 ooh. Honestly, that was such an amazing intro. Do you know what, yeah? You said it right. Everybody's always telling me about my intros, and I'm like, yeah, yeah like, let me just let you, let me, listen, let me read your motherfucking CV, But bitch. even just before we start about me, guys, I have literally been sitting here watching you. You are so good at what you do. Oh, you are a it. natural joy. Like, you know when you know when God's made something for someone. That's you, you're so good at what you do. Well, how come Don't he? Ain't, how come he ain't make me high breast? <laughs> <laughs> because if he did that, babe, unstoppable. And when you're unstoppable, Plus six bro, pack. Six pack. Of- <laughs> <laughs> he knew not to give me that. <laughs> he knew not to give me the fuck yeah, that. He knew Honestly, I do OnlyFans. That's why I feel like I do OnlyFans. Wait, no. Are you saying you do or you would? Do? I would do OnlyFans. Girl, same. I if I only didn't fans. have like, if I didn't have what's the word? You don't pride? have what? Pride? Not pride. pride what's okay. the word? Um, pride. Yeah. Pride. pride. The Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit. Yeah. yeah that's 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 and Jesus. Um, <laughs> I'll tell you, Lord, I'll be making sh money. Do you know what? Sh money. But what if it's some people to have OnlyFans, but it's just like feet? Do you know what? I, I mean, a little bit of breast. Yeah, <laughs> like just like I even wear ballast car. Is it a ballast car? I just ballast car. Yeah. I mean, at this point, they've seen it now, so <laughs> make just some money of, out of it. Just a bit of ballet. Yeah, just sorry. a bit of ballet. But yes, how has your week been? Talk to me. Are you been booked and busy? What you I been mean, up to, girl? I, low key though, I've actually been enjoying like the past couple of weeks. I've been going to festivals, like just been flying, like, like being you have, flown out, you know like what? being You've good. Been flown out. I saw you in Las Vegas. No, you was with me at Coachella. Yes. Yeah, so LA, LA. I was LA. I was Las Vegas. Las Vegas. I was Mexico. Mexico. I was France. France. Where else have I been? Where else have I been? I was Amsterdam. Like, I was Amsterdam. I'll be damned Amsterdam. I'll be damned Amsterdam. Am- Amsterdam's always a fun time, let me tell you. I've been, to, I don't know if it was Amsterdam or was. I've, I've been to somewhere in the Netherlands to, when I went to go do my dress for Guap last year. You take things too far. Uh, I mean, Loki, I was, with, I was so ready to go and get a flight to get my dress. Your dress was the winning dress. You're, I, we spoke about it funny enough. I, I, Adiola, she was here the day after and I oh, had that yeah. Cecil dress here. Yeah. You yes, were, y'all Joyce, because we recorded making it during that period. Do you remember? Y'all y'all were, yeah, you well, guys. Were, you won that shit. But yeah, oh, I went to Netherlands to do the dress. And How then, did you find that? I feel like you told me. I told you that the, the dress, drama. Yeah, the drama. The, guys, there's always drama. I don't think I'm ready. I, I've never told the story, but I think I Talk think when it. no, when Guap comes round the block, I will tell the story of what happened last year. You haven't told it on TikTok or nothing. It. Never told it. 
Haven't told Ooh, him. Okay, save that then. And I, I never told it because I was like, I, I wanted, I wanted to emotionally get over it. And even though, <laughs> you even year? though, even <laughs> though it was such a violation, yeah, I didn't want the girl to. Th- I didn't want any because yeah. I don't want the girl. I want to come for the girls. So yeah. I just said, let me call. But when Guap comes round, I yeah. will promise you, I'll tell Ooh, the story. I'm excited. Well, I'm excited. You guys should be excited because from what I remember, it was a bit mad. Yeah, it was I feel like you told me it was, was mad. Yeah, yeah, you went happy. Close. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It, it was very right. close. It was, <laughs> yeah. But oh. yes, can I just say a big congratulations to you? Obviously, you have a new prank show that's come out with Chloe Brothers, Adiola Patron, Nella Rose, and it is called um, Wow. Tapped, tapped in. <laughs> tapped in. out. Tapped girl. out. Tapped out. Yeah, tapped, tapped out. out. How was that experience filming it? Joyce, it was. It was a lot of emotion. Can I just say, you're a motherfucking ballsy bitch. I mean, low-key I am. <laughs> high-key. 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 Um, no, like, I had such a good time. Like, it was so fun. Like, I just went for it. I just thought, I mean, they're, ne- they're never going to see me again. <laughs> they're never going to see me again. <laughs> I'm let me go for it. It was so fun. Like, so, so fun. Amazing. And one thing I love, I just love girls who just don't take their fucking stuff seriously. Thank you. It's, it's a bit boring or the, I'm just over the prep and prep. I get it, we're prepping up with girls, but sometimes have fun. Have like, fun. like Have, like, let loose, like, shake them titties. You know what? <laughs> this, this thing that you do is going to, I'm going to add it to my, I'm going to add it to that. Do I'm going to add it to <laughs> Do you know what? Yeah. You, listen, yeah, you, they, 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 they named a dance after me. Like, how I dance is just very energetic. They're like, let's all do the Maz dance. And it's like, mm. It's just shaking. Like, <laughs> it's hilarious. But I don't mind. I love it. <laughs> like, just some, just some crackhead shit, man. Honestly. Can I just say, I miss Mimi. So, I don't think oh, many my people... Dog? <laughs> no, guys. I, I haven't told the story of how I was babysitting Mimi. And it's you actually, tell I, them. I haven't told them. I haven't okay, told them. them. So, basically, I decided that I wanted a dog. Briefly. And Marion was like, oh my God, let me... I said, can I babysit Mimi for like a couple of days? She was like, yeah, that's fine. So, obviously, she came... Um, I went to go pick her up from Mariam's house. Yeah. And um, obviously we collated all of Mimi's stuff. Yeah, and I had and to tell her, like, okay, so this is how she's like. Like, I had to warn her about the... Anyway, maybe you tell it about the other dogs, like how she acts. Like, <laughs> yo. So, literally, she just said, okay, this is how Mimi is. This is how she acts around other dogs. Like, she just gets bare, like, like yeah. alpha female and stuff like that. And it was fine. So, basically, I had her and it was fine. She was in my house and she was running around. She is immaculately trained if you tell her to sit she will sit if you take her outside i say mimi wee wee she'll go and wee mimi poo poo she'll go and poo <laughs> mimi food she'll go and eat because you're eat- giving her chicken though and i was giving her chicken you were I treating her i gourmet. knew this girl speaking... looked like she had diarrhea afterwards yeah i'm not, but I'm not like... shocked but i just know my dog so i bet she's thinking oh like, i knew she was enjoying with you she was, she was enjoying. enjoying so this is the funny part yeah <laughs> Mimi, if you guys don't know me, don't know Mimi. Mimi has, I don't know if it's asphasia, or she has uh, asthma, or some sort of breathing she, issue. Yeah, she's she basically her nostrils are too like small. Her I need nostrils to get her are set, too like, small. I need to get my dog a nose job basically. So she, the way she breathes is like you can hear her breathing. <laughs> But obviously, it's not so bad. It, it, it didn't get. It wasn't so bad when it was at a house. I was like, okay, let's take Mimi to Primark, yeah. And it was Primark in Oxford Street. So we're walking down Oxford Street, and she's having a blast. Like she's walking. Sometimes she'll see a dog, and she's like, what? Like trying to fight them. And I'm like, Mimi, like don't be dramatic. Yeah, she's uh, she's very on crud. Like if my dog don't know your dog like that, don't approach us because she yeah. she will give it. Like she's like, what, what, what? She's not friendly. No, she's she's not. With she's human, friend- yeah. Yes, but she's new fab. dogs, it's like she's she's, she's trying to suss she's, you but out. But it's because she susses you, and also she wants to be the dominant one, and also yeah. she's protecting you as well. Yeah. So that's my girl protects me. So anyways, <laughs> we're proud about walking, walking, walking. Obviously, Mimi is a tiny dog and i'm just walking my sister and this is all i hear (laughs) and i'm looking down and mimi sounds like a fucking fire engine like as in we are at the queue and me and like the shop is quiet and you just hear me <laughs> she was huffing and puffing and then people were looking at us yeah because it was like, <laughs> is your dog okay like, like can you hear your dog is like, it okay? is, like, yeah. they, like it's like girl it's not like what did you do like people are looking honestly, at me like what did you do honestly and i'm like i didn't do nothing that's just how she motherfucking breathes were they saying stuff to you like that people were like oh was she okay like Joyce, it's that's why i can't do trains to my dog even <laughs> Some, sometimes we get an Uber and this girl's going, ha, 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 babe, what? where's the pan? We haven't moved anywhere. You 
you've got in the car like she does I think she loved I think she does it out of excitement and happiness yeah. I think she's just happy it like, was so funny honestly I was just like I've never had so many eyes on me. Is this what it feels like to be Kim Kardashian? <laughs> this you know, is what overwhelming. Me huh? Was your um, Snapchat when you were in the underground and I was thinking, this girl gets a glimpse of what I go through. You I might put, it was I'm, embarrass- I'm embarrassing. Gonna put a, I'm going to put the video up because it was actually the most insane thing yeah. I've ever heard. It's, <laughs> it's <laughs> much. Sometimes it's much. like. <laughs> Babe, Mimi is just, she's actually such a funny dog. No, she's like, so funny. I had funny. such a blast for her and I would actually take, I want, I want to babysit her again. She's absolutely fabulous. I'm so happy, you know. Like when I, guys, when I hear things like, oh, your dog's so good. I think, okay, I'm going to be a good mother then. Well, no, yeah, I'm going to be good. Yeah, I'll be all right. Yeah, you'll be all right. I'm okay. too bad. I mean, I've looked like, dog. <laughs> she's like, oh, cheeky. Just okay. <laughs> Honestly, I, I need to get a dog first so I can figure out yeah. what I would Would you get like. one? I want to get one, but I don't know how you balance it, you know? I don't Listen, know how you balance your life. Friends and family is so important because that was they helped me a lot. Like, mm-hmm. sometimes I'll be... When I got Mimi as well, I remember I was flying out quite a lot and I had one of my friends, like, literally always watching her. Like, you wow. need, like, good friends that will read that love your dog and will, like, do it I will you. watch it. So, like, you're basically all, like, sharing yeah. just one dog, but, like, yeah, you're basically. the mother and it's yeah. like... Like, if you go away, I'll watch your dog. Like, every time I was like, I like, oh, let me know. Like, now she's got an assistant, her assistant can do it. But mm-hmm. I'm always like, yeah, I don't mind. I love it. That's so fucking cute. But let's move on. I want to just get straight into the hot topics of the week this week. Yes. It has been a chaotic week and we are going to start with the 100 hour cookathon. So I don't know if you guys saw this on the internet, but there was a Nigerian chef called Hilda Baki and um, she bids for the longest cooking marathon with the 100 hour kitchen stint. Masses of supporters came out to encourage her. Um, they were, like she was in a kitchen basically. She was in Nigeria yeah. and she was basically like trying to beat the world record for the longest cook. What was it before? What was the, what was the world record? I believe record? it was 80 and she Ooh. did 100. Oh, but do you what? know what? She, she of did cooking? A, no, the current record is 87 hours Wait, and 19 what? seconds. Of cooking? Yeah. What are you cooking? For 100 hours. Just cooking, you... and cooking and cooking and cooking and cooking and cooking and cooking and cooking. Now, here's the interesting part. Obviously, Tiva's, Tiva, people were like performing outside the cafe kitchen. Like, like hundreds of thousands of people. Like thousands of people were just oh, around there. Like, it was nice to see the Nigerian community really like yeah, supporting you know, her. One thing about Nigerians, we are going to ride for you regardless. We're going to ride for each other. We're going to ride. When, when, when we need to ride for each other, we've got to ride for each yeah, other. Yeah, we know. But she was cooking, if we were like, just cooking, 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 cooking. And like, people were dancing and Tiwa Savage came to perform and there was like Afrobeat artists that come to perform. Wow. By the way, can you cook African food? Can you cook? I can cook. And I think if... Uh, I like, can cook. what can you cook? Well, are you talking about African food or just in general? African food. Okay, so I can do fried rice. Okay. I can make, like, good African, like, chicken and stuff like that. What's That's, African chicken? Like, how your mum makes it. Hard. <laughs> like, no! <laughs> no, mine tastes good. Um, But, like, jollof rice, I know, like, I know what to do, but I've never, like, gone out of my way to do it. So you can't make it, you know, you know, you know, you know, you <laughs> know, in a household, listen, 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 in a household, we always have the daughter that is in the kitchen with the mother and the one that's doing the makeup. I was doing the makeup. So your sister knows how to whip yeah, it up. Yeah, she can whip it up. My sister can whip it up. Me, I'll watch from the side. But, oh, yeah, I'll have some. But yeah, I'm just. I was that husband. sister for a very long time. Is until it? when I moved out of my mom's house, I realized that I couldn't cook. I re- it hit me that I could not cook because I started dating this um, Nigerian guy uh, who was a little bit more mature. And you know the over 35s, yeah, they love their fucking Nigerian Let food. me tell you, they want a housewife like they before want you're ha- even a girlfriend. They want a housewife. Yeah. And obviously me, obviously because he had money, me the booby the fool, <laughs> I was trying to, I wanted to be the Impress wife. Him a little bit, yeah. him a little bit. I was like, listen, this is my way out of the herd. I need to, <laughs> I need to treat, I need to make sure. <laughs> Quick time, let me get Quick out. Time. So obviously he said, oh, you know, you know, I like a girl that can cook or whatever. I said, yeah. So he, I was like, what's your favorite food? And he said, oh, yeah, you know, I like a goosey. So, you know, usually Nigerian like, men, yeah, it's not the soft, oh, I like jello fries. You know, the quick thing. Oh, they go straight they to the stew and the pounded to this much. Have the- you pounded jam before? Sis? Does it look like I have the bad No, I don't. Honestly, it's hard. I don't know how my mum done it. It's really hard. Mine ended up, it was like porridge because you have to, it it wasn't given. There's techers you have to give. Honestly, the rib is like a rib. It's like a whole workout. You have to want to do it as well. Yeah, you have to really work. Even simple, simple Gary, like I couldn't, like, you know, you have to Oh, like Ebba. Like Ebba, yeah, 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 Ebba. You have to to do it, yeah. Because mine, Ebba, doesn't slap the way my mum does. So I think it was lockdown, first ever lockdown. Right. I wish I was that girl. 
He said his favorite food is a goosey. Yeah. You a goosey? Oh, it's okay. What's the nagusi? No. Melon seeds? Shocking. Never knew that. I didn't know nothing. Yeah. So your girl just went on YouTube and you know those aunties on the YouTube that's like, this is how you make a goosey soup. You will now cut the onion. Yeah. <laughs> Yes, auntie, tell me. Yeah, that's how I learned. That's so good. I learned to make a goose seed. F or Stop Rero. saying it like that. <laughs> you are, you're mad. A goose seed. A goose seed. Go on, keep going. I can make a farero. <laughs> nice. I can make jollof rice. Jollof rice. I can make a sarod. Yeah. What about the moi moi? I, I didn't get to that. that. I yeah. didn't get to that video. Yet. <laughs> I didn't get to that video. <laughs> Can you make my way? Can I make my way? Absolutely not. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> Do you think you end up marrying a Nigerian guy? Oh, you know what? I would love to. However. <laughs> However, I'm such a like, like, oh, like I feel like I, I, I just, no, I'll marry whoever I love mm-hmm. at that time. I will just marry whatever. Not whatever, but whoever comes. Anyone, to anyone that wants to marry me? Yeah, anyone, anyone just I'm anyone. Like, no, not even. No. But I, I would love to though. I think like, I feel like when you're in a relationship with someone that gets the culture, it's just so much better. It's so much better because I'm so bush. Yeah. So ugh, I'm so bush. Yeah, so. I'm 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 low key uh with a freshie, low key. Low key I'm, I'm very high key. Were you, you born what? in Nigeria, Joyce? I wasn't. I, I was. Really, was you born in Nigeria? Yeah, I think so, I remember you telling us in yeah, the last one. In the episode. last one, yeah. Wow. Yeah. You wouldn't I would have never. Never. Count. So I, I don't I just feel like I'm a real Nigerian babe. Just, just can't cook my way. Or the love rice, or yeah, um, she said. <laughs> but I'm still a Nigerian babe. Don't worry. I think we can learn. I think we should have a, and that's okay. Yeah, like I'm, we we can learn. Mm-hmm. You, ch- I learn. A I think bit. when I want, like for example, like for me to cook that, I would want to cook it for like. Because I order, I can't lie. Like, if I want um, jollof fries, I order it. Yeah, for my same. Enid. I love any Or my mum. Like, anytime I'm, I'm telling her, bring everything, please. Does it give her, but I think yeah. if I want to cook it, I don't have the want to, to actually cook That's it. That's the thing. That's and it just takes not. And up. I have a blender, you know? I have a blender. I only have like a protein shape, like those little bullet ones. You I don't have, have a blender. No. So, like, what am I going to be doing? See, I and, have. Joy, sorry to interrupt you. Go with the Even the market. It's too much. Like I, I would just be like, oh, I need this me, I need that me. I wouldn't even know where to start. They will think. And that's how they'll go and finesse us because we don't know. Yes, any they will finesse me and they'll say, Oh, it's, it's twenty pounds for one meal. Like, okay, yeah, that, that's fine. Can you get me five? You I know just... what I love about Nigerian women, yeah? It's like they just know when something is fresh. Honestly, 100%. if it was me, they'll give me this bolt thing over and over again and I'll just be taking it to <laughs> Shaki. Because they'll be like, That one is green, it's been there for four days. I can tell. And they go get where's the fresh one, they can smell it, they know the smell, then me, I would just take what what looks the res- same. Looks respectable for me. I got no fucking clue. No but clue. I really think if I wanna I would love to today i feel like marriage Ooh. i would love to marry a nigerian man yeah just for the culture i'm open yeah, who knows whoever snatches my heart exactly i've really been loving the Ghanaian boys though even though they're stingy but i've really been loving them you know they keep what, why do i hear this about Ghanaian men like why are you not like, stingy about and short like, okay, chill they're so chill but they're, they're, they are short and stingy yeah i've like, heard that the, but the tall ones are very very handsome yes they very are very chocolate very they're just nice <laughs> I feel, like, I feel like Ghanaian boys are more sweet boys than yeah, they um, are. Nigerians. Like, they have like they have sweet boy mentality, which is They're nice. They're very chill, calm, sweet boys. I think that's that's if I'm gonna swing to a direction, <laughs> it's looking like it's the opening. Do you party. like sweet boys though? Like, do you I like do, a sweet you know. boy? Because me and my listeners this year, me and my sister were having this conversation, mm-hmm. and she was like telling me how, oh, there's a certain kind of guy that man, this will work for you, but not for me because I don't like a sweet guy like that. What does she mean? Like, she doesn't like a guy that's probably in touch with their emotions and can, like, I don't know, like, a sweet boy. You know, boys that would be like, oh, I think you're beautiful. Like, those, I love a boy like that. Like, that would just, just make me feel special. Like, you know? I love that as well. I but, think- all, but, but, do you like a, a boy that's a bit, like, cold? And no. then when he does do his thing, he's like, oh, yeah, he does love me. I like a bit of both. Be a sweet boy. Tell me I'm beautiful. Tell me that you love me. Tell me that I'm your sugar man, money melon and all of that good stuff. But but when you're on the streets, you need to know how to fight. 
a hundred percent because i me i'm a fight so it's like yeah. you need to fight and if my mouth gets us in trouble you need to be the one to just oh because because oh, my <laughs> mouth might get us in trouble you know don't try to de-escalate you no. need to fight you need to fight <laughs> <laughs> like, we don't get sh- arrested together yeah, like, no words. like that's like there needs to be balance yeah 100 as much as i love a sweet cool boy yeah. i don't want to be dating no punk no like if i i always think like if a guy's talking to me and i'm not having it my man should be able to be like listen bro she's not having it like fuck off yeah. and if it comes to fight comes to fight and i'll back it i'll actually back yeah. it like <laughs> right, let's go <laughs> <laughs> I swear to God. But moving on, just we'll, we'll talk about the conversation. Obviously, congratulations to Miss Hilda. Yes. For, um, the, but you know I what's interesting? Yeah, we tend to do that. But you know what's so funny about yes. this cooking situation? Mm-hmm. It wasn't monitored by the Guinness Book of World Records. Oh. So they have to go and review it. So yeah, she's currently under review and judges are yet to confirm if she has met the requirements for the world what record. What are the requirements? Please, t- I'm tell me. I'm not sure, but I, from what I remember, because Guinness Book of World Records used to have a show and I thought that the like people used to come and watch you. Like there was yeah. an official Guinness Book of World Records Yeah, it was like, I remember like at school, there was a book, of, it was like a blue book. It was blue. Right? Yeah, like a board book yeah, of the world records. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But like, if you want to break a world record, from what I remember, somebody from the Guinness Book of World Records has to be there. Oh, and no one from there was there. Yeah, so they but was videoed it, it. It was recorded though, was recorded. so there's proof to show that this is how long she was cooking for, like, give it to her. hundred hours of video well, yeah. time. They, they better have recorded In Nigeria, I hope they recorded it right, you know. Because oh she, my God. Wow, but she, she might she she might have not but anyways i i really pray like she has been doing it she's been active yeah. so hopefully to be honest i think i i did see i did see it yeah. she looked gorgeous as well when she was cooking like, i don't know if it was just that picture but i was like oh girl, girl, girl listen yeah, yes pr yeah, yes journalism yeah. do your motherfucking thing <laughs> your yes yes but i want to move on so we had the bafta tv awards so yes. we had obviously the film awards in february and this week 14th of may um we had the greatest shows of british tv um the traitors took a lot of um awards home oh that's so good um they took a uh, best price for reality show and then mass singer got um um best entertainment program which i believe will and jovu actually Yes, Will and Jovi actually presents, if I'm not mistaken. That's my oh, best. Wow. That's like that's one of my best. I love him. I love him. He's <laughs> fab. And um, Mo Farah's phenomenal. The real Mo Farah won best documentary, yeah, and the one. Jeffrey Dahmer story took home the international award. Obviously, I was very heartbroken that I didn't attend. Why are you heartbroken? You're not going to attend this year, but next year. No, I'm joking. I don't really care. You don't but no, I would have loved. I would have loved to go and see because I just love. I just love Mo- the TV yeah, world and stuff. stuff and just like how look, and there were some yeah. amazing people. Um, like obviously from our space that attended as yeah. well. So big up motherfucking them. I'm so, I sound like such a hater. Big up motherfucking you for getting invited. <laughs> like, I sound like such a hater. No. No, but I love it. Did you watch Traitors? Mm-mm. Traitors was fucking good. I've heard, do you know what? I've heard so much about Traitors and I'm always like, yeah, I'm going to watch, I'm going to watch it, but I haven't got round to it. It was good. Is it like a, is it like a reality? Like, you know, when you put different characters in one room and they have a task to do, is it like yes, that? Yes, like that. But Ooh. it was like, it was literally, my heart was racing. My trust issues skyrocketed. So it, someone's like a mole. Someone's like a yeah, fake someone's person. someone's like a mole. <gasps> and then every night that mole kills somebody. <gasps> Like as in not like eliminates them, oh, not course. literally kills, course. eliminates them, and then um, people are trying to figure out who's the mole, but the mole could be like your bestie, and the moles are there pretending to be a part of the team. But it's like I'm not a trader. I'm not. It was the most chaotic piece of shit. And the audience ever. always gets to know who the yeah, mole is. Yeah, we know. And Does that, the mole ever change? Like sometimes it's like you're not the mole anymore. No. So if one person, if a mole gets gets found out, they're out. They will. They're out, and they <gasps> might decide to replace them, or they might just. It was chaotic. Okay, now I've got Traitors something to watch. Traitors was good fucking TV. Okay, now I've got something to watch because after um fucking Bridgerton Charlotte story, I am um, I need something. So. The Charlotte story was fucking. Go, let me tell you, I I couldn't believe it. I wanna be in love. I wanna be in love. love. I don't know this song, but I'm gonna be in love. I wanna be in love. I wanna wanna be be in love. love. Who is this? I don't know, it's freestyle. Oh, (laughs) (laughs) I love it. I wanna be. That's how I was feeling. Do you know what got me? Was, okay, I didn't even realize that it was going back in time. 
Joyce, I didn't realise to the end, the whole movie. And to be honest, yeah, I was watching it like whilst doing stuff. Like, mm-hmm. so I'll be, I knew I was missing key things. So when we got to the end and she went underneath the bed, I said, oh my God, it's, it's a flashback. I realised it was like, oh. So it took you six episodes. Six episodes. That's a very mad, that's a very mad Maz thing. Mad thing, 100%, 100%. <laughs> but I got it in the end and I'm watching it again to make sure I like see it. But Okay, it was fabulous. It was amazing. It showed, it just really showed us what love is. Love is choosing to love someone regardless of, you know, what they come with, their, you know, their baggage, their their imperfections. And she chose to love a madman. She she loved him before she knew he was mad as well. I have a question. Or tell me. Real question. Ask me. You're in that situation. Obviously, you're not the king and queen. Obviously, you're the queen in your own right, innit? But, like, you date someone. or Should we do date or marriage? Date. Let's do date. Because we are, I'm not you even date knowing someone, there. You fall in love. Yeah, I'll, the and I'll fall hard. 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 I keep on falling in here. In here. You fell in love hard. Alright. And then you're, you're enjoying yourself, enjoying your company. Yes. And then you wake up in the middle of the night. Oh no. And he's He's doing all of this. No, don't! <laughs> I will join him. Like, what's going on, babe? Yeah, I'll you, join him. Like. You would, are you? Will you stay or will you go? No, I'm staying because it's like, what's? Uh, first, I'll think, are you okay? Like, what's happened? What's happening? If he's bare shaking, bare shaking, I would just be like, I'll try and help him see what's going on. And if it's something deep, oh, Joyce, let me really be real. Be real, man. Okay, how old am I? That's the first question. <laughs> how old am I? That's the first question. So how old am I? Where am I in life? Because if I'm really old, as now, I'm, I'm... Now, in this... Where oh, you are this how moment. I am now? How you are now? How much money does he have as well? With the layers. How much money does he have as well? That's our question. You got guys, come on, you got think about all these things. It's true. Because you, you can't just make a decision like that. You need to like weigh up the factors, like age, um, money, like sex as well. Like what? Like tell you need to give me a bit more so okay. I know. For the, ben- this, for the benefit of this conversation, <laughs> you are where you are now. Okay. He is in a similar place to you. Hopefully, a uh, way higher. No, please. just a similar. Oh, okay, cool. Same as me. All right, cool. I mean, that's still lit, but it's like I want someone more. You're <laughs> <laughs> right, staying or you're leaving. You wake <sighs> up and it's doing all of this. Uh, what? What? But what, what is that? Is it like more? Uh, Okay, is it like what George was doing? The crazy stuff? Yeah, dementia. Dementia. Ooh. Oh, me. Joyce, I'm a lover girl. As much as I act like I'm a lover girl. Like, if I love someone, like, I'm gonna, like, I'm a ride or die, I can't lie. You will stay. Yeah, because if I love him and, like, he can't control that. Like, he can't control that at all. And if I still get the bits of him that are good, I'm gonna ride for him. I chose you. Like, I wanna be with you and with all your bullshit, unfortunately. That's just how I am, Joyce. It's just annoying. Do you know what? It's I annoying. Hear it. I hear it. Yeah, because deep it, Joyce, when you meet that person that makes you feel good, that listens to you, that makes you happy, and there's moments where maybe they're not good, but I'll just think, I wanna bring you back. Like, let me help you. That's just how I am. Just like you're, you're better than me because I'm leaving. You're leaving. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck this leave. shit. I'm, I'm leaving. Because yeah. you know what it is, yeah. I'm sorry. I'm such an Nigerian woman. Like that type of shit scares the fuck, fuck out of me. Really? I'm like, which, but what I, happens I, if I it was you, you, Joyce? What happens if you listen to this? Yeah, let me let me school you right now. What happens if you are like Joyce now? You're everything, and then unfortunately, like unfortunately, you just happen to get like something that comes to you. Do you not want just one that person to just ride for you like you know the vows of through sickness and health through we're only richer. dating by the way oh, we're only true. dating this is not my oh all right cool if, no but uh, me i'm a lover i love hard so That's I'm, the thing, gonna... I'm a lover girl the problem is with yeah. me yeah i'm a lover girl but there's one thing that i that is very important to me and that is like like i'm a christian woman spiritual stuff i'll be in my mind like that's the demon i'm going really yeah sorry the blood of jesus i have to go but do or else I have to take him to church. church. To yeah, go and do so, warfare, yeah, take him to church. Prayer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Take him to church. Hopefully, it will help. But <laughs> low prayer. key, most things they do like it doesn't. It's like but you know, I'm such an I'm such an yeah, I, I just it. think everything is spiritual. Yeah, I, I no, same, same. I would that take would my like, I take my man to church. Let's go. Me and his neck is bending and stuff. I have to go to church. I have to go to But with prayer. his, when I was watching it, with his, it was just. Ugh. I wouldn't try to leave them. I wouldn't abandon them. I wouldn't just get rich. Yeah, it would be like a process. Yeah, it would be a process. I try to help them. I pray for them and stuff. But I feel like 
there's so many elements that you like you need to remember queen charlotte yeah there's so many elements of her relationship that even though she loves them they died because of like his mental health for yeah, example he couldn't be a father like he the couldn't way, be a father yeah. he, she couldn't enjoy him she couldn't uh, she's probably on edge all the time yeah all she's probably time. on she edge to, like, yeah. it, it becomes a like we're married but I'm like your mother like because remember like in yeah, the thing she catering. kind of replaced she replaced his mother as his like caretaker so it's like you're no longer like a wife and husband it's yeah, now like I've just got different. an extra child do you know what when you say it like that then it's like okay now I can actually think a little bit like oh but it's still I mean that's what I mean it depends on where I am in life like mm -hmm. if I've been with him for years and years and years I do feel like and we've had yeah. kids together like and say so if it started like quite fresh and I was deep in love. I think just me being me, I'd want to help. You like first help, thing you yeah, want to do same. is help. But I do feel like it probably will take a toll on me. Cause that's the thing as well. Like, do you love someone enough to be like, I can see that this is not like, you know when you can see that your, your problem and your burden is affecting someone else. Mm -hmm. Maybe like I might, I would hope that he might say, go. <laughs> yeah. Go be free. And, and I'm like, are you okay, sure? Girl. Okay, you, you don't sure? tell okay. me twice. I love you, but bye bye. <laughs> Where's my day's husband? Save me. <laughs> I agree, but like, let's just say, like, in your adult years, for example, I was watching this amazing video on TikTok, yeah, where like this very elderly like um, couple, the wife yeah. has dementia, mm. and they're still married, and like she can't even recognize herself in pictures. She can't recognize her face, who oh. she is. Heartbreaking, and the husband is like sticking beside him, sticking oh, beside her, and it's the most it, and it's the most beautiful but sad thing at the same yeah. time. Like I, I can appreciate people staying with their partners. Like when you've been with yeah, someone for a long time, it's especially beautiful. dementia. I think yeah, stuff like that. Oof. When but, I like, sorry to interrupt, sorry, go ahead, Joyce, like that's like, do you ever think of the things like as you get older and you're thinking, all right, if I die, like. I wouldn't want to have dementia. Like I really pray against that because it's like the worst thing is just like you're in a your mental state like so sure and then boom like how it's do so you sad. forget yourself? How do you not remember your love? Like God, please, I don't want. I actually reject anyone I reject, that's doing it. I reject yeah, people like, like dementia because I've actually I've worked in dementia before. Oh, because um, did yeah, you work in social care? I used to do care back. Oh, in the my day. parents do that. Yeah, back yeah. in the day, amazing. Wow, Joyce, Big up I love that. Yeah, listen, I'm just I love I'm a that. Mother, motherfucking multifaceted babe. babe. But yeah, I've seen what dementia does and it's. Yeah. Actually actually such it's the most scary yeah um the most scary mental illness anyone can ever have they, some people don't remember their children like they're just like hello Aww. like they only imagine remember not remembering mimi uh, oh imagine not remember like oh it's it's can't remember their children can't remember nothing. their parents can't remember their and they do it like it uh, it can switch in it from like literally you can have a conversation out of nowhere it just can just and you like who yeah, are you it like, usually oh. they, sometimes they have they have this thing called sundown so like sometimes oh, in the daytime that? they'll be fine and then once so when, once like in the nighttime they that, that's when all the stuff or it can get to a level where that's how they are day in and day out sometimes they're stuck in a time frame so like they could like you can ask them how old are you they'll tell you they're 27 yeah. they'll be like, but I'll then tell you this makes me ask a question then do you believe in when like if someone wants to die mm -hmm. like you know how to say can you kill like what's your thoughts mm -hmm. on that because when you, you see someone you love so much euthanasia is that what, euthanasia yeah, thank you. oh, euthanasia when you want to kill yourself What's your thoughts on that? Like when you, you say, so say for example, you can see that someone is just not, they're living but not living. Like it's a horrible life. And it's like, they want you to kind of say, I'm ready to go. Like, I'm not happy here. Like, like, like this is a I question. Like, Could you? The, okay, so there's two ways I feel from yeah. my, my Christian viewpoints and the reality of things. Obviously, Christian Christianity will say like, you know, you can't kill yourself and stuff like that, mm -hmm. which, you know, biblically I completely understand. But I think, for example, there was the guy that I met and mm -hmm. um, he was, he, uh, when I was doing brain injury and he was a rugby player and um, basically he had a rugby accident and then became disabled from the neck down. Oh. And he was like in his 20s, so he spent 10 oh, years. Oh, he was young as well. Being like from the neck down, paralyzed. No. And in this, in this hospital, he's never going to get better. Like, as oh, in, don't as tell in, me my eyes are watering. Yeah, like, it was that's so I, sad. Yeah. And like, he, it, it was very fascinating because he figured out a way where he can use his head to like press on the keyboards and stuff like that. Oh. Or like, he, he used his ears as like a mouse. Yeah, oh, he yeah, can, yeah. sorry, he used his eyes to track and then to click. He like used to like 
press something with his it's neck. It's mad how what, with the disadvantage was advantage you can make. You could like, create, but honestly, in those type of situations, I'm I'm for it, man. Because that what kind of life? Yeah, is that? It, like, I like, can't yeah. like I think I'm for it. Like I'm it's it. so hard for you, anyways, watching someone you love so much go through pain, yeah. and then like you're not living, like you're watching everyone else live. You're not in a right state of mind, like. And I was literally this is such a good conversation because me and Sarah were talking about life and stuff like that, and I was saying how sometimes when you are asleep, like what's the worry? You don't even there's no worries unless you're having a nightmare but you know when you're just in the state of sleep it's like peace you know mm. you want to give that person peace so i don't know i i would I, I get it with the religion stuff but yeah. come on it's hard to it's watch hard. it's hard and you yeah. know they're not happy like it's so hard to like watch like they're at peace you know they're at rest they're not suffering anymore like and i just pray for their soul that's it that's literally it some of it is hard so like before if i hadn't worked through those experiences yeah. like, I'd be like no like jesus said but fam, when you're really I've living seen it, some people. Yeah. See, I've seen some people, and like what it does to the families, to the, and especially like there's some people who are born with disabilities or born with mental health. Yeah, that's just like this is all I know, and it's like okay, parent, yeah, like, yeah, yeah, go exactly, you, like, go you. That's all you know. But when it's somewhere where you've known life, mm-hmm. and then you become severely disabled like yeah. I'm not talking about yeah there's some people like for example they might have a limb cut off or something yeah happened. or maybe like, start, you maybe you re, um even like someone's autism like you that can you don't realize you haven't when later it's like, okay actually I'm at this spectrum of autism yeah. so it's like those are still right but the severe, like, one, the severe ones where it's like you can't like your memory's completely failed or you're completely yeah. paralyzed well, it's it's I, I it's don't know it's, it's, it's a lot. lot but anyways anyone listening to this anyone yeah. that's in this room may God never allow us to experience that Amen. and if, and if if, for example you are paralyzed look now no, it's difficult because I don't want to I, I don't want it to be a thing where let's yeah. just say somebody's listening to this yeah and they're going through those situations and yeah. they're thinking oh maybe that's the way to go oh yeah this is what I mean this is just a this real conversation problem. between two queens Um, just trying to say like in their perspective like no one take it to like literal anyways let's raise, the yeah, let's, just, let's raise the motherfucking vibrations because yeah yeah this that was, went so long that went so long we were like, like, ah, let's go, let's go. We were talking about the BAFTAs and they went ah. and we, how did okay. the fuck we end up here I don't know, but let's move on to our social media tidbits. Don't forget to subscribe, subscribe. Subscribe, subscribe. 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 So, men shouldn't style themselves. This week, a beautiful bride and her wedding gown went viral. But people also had a lot to say about the husband's wedding suits. The bride oh. wore a beautiful hand beaded gown designed by Olonuko and it broke the internet. However, her, her groom opted for a more unique suit and multi colored Oxford shoes. I just need to quickly see this. Can I see as well? Because I think I remember the tweet. Can I just say, I saw that wedding dress and it was absolutely phenomenal. That. Um, wedding dress designer. She's deaf. If it's not her, I've got back. I've got my top three already. But she's in my top three. She Is she from the UK? I feel like she's. I'm not sure. I feel I like I spoke be- to her before to help me create a dress, but she. It, it just was impossible. Me. Sometimes I just think out of this world, but it was impossible. But I, she's really good. Like so good. The dress was amazing, and I believe that girl. So now my phone is pinging off because I took it off. Do not disturb. I took. Oh. Yeah, I believe the woman that does that. She does the wedding dress for. Um, is like a fitness guru. I love her stuff. I can't remember her name, but she's a fitness guru. What do you mean? Sorry, say that again. So the bride. Oh, the bride is the fitness guru. That's, uh, yeah, 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 I just, but I, I'm not feeling it, but I mean, if that's what my mum wants to wear, I don't know what my, like, I mean, oh, man, I don't know. I don't know. I'm... To be honest, when you get married, how much control are you going to have of the wedding? Total. That's what I'm saying. Total control, like. Total. To the T. Like, I don't want to hear nothing. I'm going to tell you what to do. I tell you, like, I'm going to allocate, you know, I'm going to tell him, this is what you need to sort out, this is what you need to do, this is what you need to do, and that's it. And we stick to it. Any man that says otherwise doesn't want to marry me. No, this isn't about you. What do you think this is? It's about me. It's actually about me. The it's, fuck? I mean, it's about us, but the us but really means me. Me, because like, they're staring at me. Like, they see me walk down the aisle. The they're not watching you stand there. They're watching me walk down the aisle. I... I'm so interested to see the type of brides I will be because I know I'm going, You're going to, to be, be a bridezilla. In se- I will be the bridezilla. Bridezilla. Yeah. I just know you are. I know. When I, I come to your wedding, I'm just going to have shades on and I'm going to be like, you're right. And if I, I'm like, do you know what? 
I'm just gonna. I'm, it's fine. I'm just gonna stand over here. I just know. Joyce, I know. Literally, I literally. hope you have a um a wedding planner that can deal with it because I'm just gonna be here for the vibe. Because I'm there's no way I'm gonna bug step out. Into that. Literally, like I'm not. I need my. Sh- I'm such a perfectionist. Like even planning this live show has made me understand how much of a perfection wow. is. Yeah, yeah, and I really be. cannot handle pressure. Yeah, I will actually just go. I will actually go crazy. Everyone do their motherfucking job properly. Yeah, Seriously, you are going the, to switch in your wedding if you do not I'll have switch, a event. Yeah, like you need, I'll you switch. definitely need a um, planner. You a probably need about one. three. You um, need yeah, three. Agreed. Agreed. Someone that does one thing and another one that's the assistant and then a third assistant. So it's like no one can even. It's just smooth because. You uh, sh- you'll be agreed. shaking tables. I'm telling you, but do you feel like you would sh- you would be the one that's responsible for your husband's attire? Attire. Yes. I'm gonna. Well, we'll talk about it. But like, okay, this is the dress. You. Oh, he can't see my dress. No, you can't. But the color scheme. Like, yes. Because I when I think of my wedding, I'm I really think of like um Cinderella. Of course, like, it has Prince Charming. It has like, to be. No, like he's like I can't like he's wearing like a military kind of thing. So you already know what he's gonna wear. Yeah, She's like, already whoever, advice. whoever's gonna marry me, like, no, you're wearing like the military stuff, like for no reason, just for it. Double breasted. Yeah, I just want that. I want that, like Cinderella, like picture perfect princess wedding, and he, like, there's no choice. There's nothing else. Do you know what kind of dress you're gonna wear? I'm wearing about three. Okay, fine. I'm enough. wearing three wedding dresses. <laughs> Three wedding dresses. Yeah, because I want to do the big princess one, like I've arrived, okay. and the sexy sleek one, and then the less party. Yeah, that's normal. Yeah, that's, isn't it? Three, yeah. yeah, that's normal. Any traditional? Are you gonna do traditional? Oh, absolutely. That one is even gonna be mad, though. Like <laughs> that one. Let me tell you, I want my. I want, babe. Nigeria will have to stop for a minute because Maram's having her wedding. No word. <laughs> I could see it being very strong, but how many people are we talking about here? Oh, but okay, Joyce, right? Ask me this about five years ago. I would have been like, I want a big wedding. It's still going to be so nice and attention to detail, but if I don't know you, why are you here? Agreed. If I've come to the church, that's fine, but you're not coming to my wedding. Like, Agreed. you came to my mother's church festival. Like, it, like no way. I don't want to stress because I'm going to have to pay for everything, and I don't know you like that. Like, honestly, no. I was having a conversation. No. One of my friends is getting married, and they're, and they're stuck between, like, Big wedding or small wedding? Do it. Big, I am small, small but big. Like you know 150 what I mean? to 200 people. Yeah, that's respectable. That's not people, I, you know. How many people do you know? Because how are you trying to do it? Because with me, like I always see it as I'm gonna literally do my circle. Like I, obviously, in like about 30, five years. People. Like in five years, like, I probably know a bit more people. But I think I really want it intimate. Like I want it like everyone's having. Fun. How was intimate to you? Okay, so my my clo- okay. If you're my close friend story, you're coming to my wedding. <laughs> that's for real if you're in my close friend's stories you're coming to my wedding 100% and then I think obviously just people that you, you can't like you don't know me like that which you're not my close friends but mm-hmm. with friends like I'll come to your event I'll you know be that your birthday like yeah you're coming yeah. but then anything where it's like just to add numbers just because you're someone no like I need no. I want people that would get the the wedding um, stories that people would really like you know when your, your man's doing a speech and it's like they were part of that yeah yeah because then it's like you're just why are you there I, I don't, agree because like, I go to weddings but I shouldn't be at this wedding but I'm there seriously you're just there for the food I have a, I have a question yes how many people do we all know in our lives mm-hmm. that have had big we- that have had big weddings and are no longer married quite a few now check that now check that <laughs> yeah I mean this is like, the question that's the, that's prob- the thing that, now like I feel like let's not try to do something exaggerative the point I'm trying to make is sorry there's no point I'm just trying to be fucking shady <laughs> <laughs> I'm just trying to be shady oh my god okay I'm, I'm just trying to be shady um but I think the problem for me is that there's it's a very intimate moment yes I, I feel am. like what I wanted to do is I wanted to have a small wedding like the actual wedding where I'm walking down the aisle and people come to the church I want to like be as fatty to 50 people, like of my close friends, like let's say 50 to 60 people because of, you know, the family, like 30 each or something mm-hmm. like that, whatever. When it's the reception where we're all doing the boogie down, I want it to be like 150 people. Yeah, like, I know what you mean. That's yeah, how yeah. I want to break up my day because them weddings that's like, that that look like warehouse raves, why are there 500 people in the, in the fucking wedding? As in though, 
how ha- many people do you know and you can't sit down that's when you know like this is too much when you actually can't sit down like even the food bit is like nah I don't want that I've been to too many like there where I shouldn't have been that I, I no you're one's fighting coming to sit down babe do and you know auntie do you know what I need to talk about this one because it gets me so mad the aunties that expect you to like take like I don't know you like I respectfully no I don't know you like I'm not gonna give up my seat like what the fuck like go find your own seat no auntie's gonna bully me to stand up no they try with me because I'm always smiling they think they can do it I will be looking at them I remember I went to a wedding I went to my cousin's wedding yeah and um obviously there was a queue to wrap the gelly there was only one gelly girl so obviously I think I was second Oh, that's good. I think I was in the queue and I was there was two people left. Explain to me why these aunties were like, ah, oh, come on, do my own, come on, do no. my own. I had to tell them, excuse me, I was next in the queue. I love that. I was actually next in the queue. Yeah. You're not gonna bully me because I have because no. I'm I've got sweet cheeks, <laughs> auntie. I'm not your daughter. I'm not your fucking daughter. Wait and stay behind. Get you get you behind. Yes. And cute like the rest of us. Bro, and I think that's what I don't like. I don't like people that think they can just, even I'm like that. <laughs> okay. Get you behind. But get the behind. Get behind. Cue yeah. up like the rest of us. Yeah. And I feel like, sorry, I'm at that age. You can't talk to me like, maybe when I was 16, 17, I'm a big taxpaying woman. Honestly. Cool it. Yeah. Cool yeah. it down. Or well, it's one of those things where, oh God, I just, honestly, I really do hate weathers. I'm like, one of those things, they'll tell you to get up. For they'll, what? Like, like I, I kind of okay. I have a question. I have a question. Let's just say I'm sitting down. Yeah, we're at a wedding. I'm sitting down. I'm sitting next to you or whatever. I get up to go get food, food or toilet whatever, or whatever. Sorry. Yeah. Is that seat free game? Like, cause some if like, mm. is that? Do seat- I know you like that? Oh, do I know you like that? That's a question. Do I? Okay. Are you no, no, no. We friends, don't know each other. We sit next to each other. I mean, if someone said, if someone said, oh yeah, someone's sit- if I know you've gone to a toilet, but oh yeah, someone's sitting there. But is that seat free game? It's free game, for, honestly, in, in an environment like that. It's, it's free game. It's free <laughs> game. And if you have someone that's like, oh yeah, that's calm, but it's, it's every man for themselves. Man I, for can't themselves. I can't lie because honestly, it's so hard to move sometimes. It's so hard to find your friends. Nah, if I see a seat, I'm sitting down. If you don't put your bag, if you don't put yeah, your jacket yeah, there, yeah, yeah, it's, free, sorry, it's free game. I'm not honest. even going to ask, you know, I, I, me, I'll just smile. I'm I'll like, just sit down. I'll acting just sit like, down. I, I, I don't know what's and going I, on. And I'm not, and I'm not motherfucker standing up. No way. But yeah, I don't even like those busy ass weathers anyways. And I think we, all need to have some class as well it's not every, you, you can't be bumping into people but, that you don't but know. Joyce it's not people I think it's people's parents it's parents because sometimes I'm at weddings and it's actually the aunties and uncles that it's I true, de- there's know. more of them and like where the young people at like you lot stop coming I'm telling you I'm just like girl like who even invited you like the aunties will invite their whole gang and their gang will invite all their husbands and it's like <sighs> yeah, I think it's just a Nigerian yeah, thing you it's know, such a Nigerian thing to Nigerian bring thing. A, a friend of 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 a friend to a party and it's like ow it's just a Nigerian thing but I'm gonna read what some what some of the Twitter people said they said the groom should have been forced to change how can you have a bride that is that beautiful looking and then just ruin the pictures with that awful suit then another girl said his suit messed up everything and another girl said the husband looks like he's going to a karate match after the wedding <gasps> low key <laughs> Joyce low key because what's that belt I, I don't I mean was it blue was it, I don't know what color it was blue grey um, what's the other I'm going to put know. the pics up but it was a hot cracky mess that was oh, a hot mess and that's the worst thing do you know when you go viral for your wedding and then your, your man lets your you man came to, oh. that please don't let that set the president yeah. for their marriage in Jesus name they'll be long lasting yeah, yeah, but yeah. guys as we are talking about a marriage we must also have to talk about a divorce unfortunately and Kim and Croy call it quits who? Kim and Kim Zolziak um, who? Real House as Valanta oh okay Kim the white girl oh yeah you know she was dating that um footballer. Okay, Joyce, I'm not like I'll be real, like uh, hands on the table. I don't really watch like Real Housewives like that. What? Yeah. So did you watch Real Housewives? Not really. Do you know what? Okay. Used to, but... For everyone cuz I know yeah, some Yeah, give of us some context. Okay. So Kim Zolzak was I know she was white. She's white. Yeah, I know who she is. Yeah. She's married to this guy and mm. honestly, they have been together for fucking long. For really? a very, very, very long time, they they met while she was filming for her like first or second season of Real Housewives, which was over ten years ago. Oh. Um, so they were dating, they got married, and I thought they were gonna be together forever. Yeah. I thought it was a forever thing. Yeah. Recently, oh, no. um, they called it quits, and Atlanta Housewives star Kim Zolzak 
and her husband, Croy Bieberman, have filed for divorce following the publication of their financial struggles. It's alleged that the couples were keeping up with the Joneses, spending more money than they earned, which puts a strain on them financially and on their marriage. So basically, there was a financial report saying that they owed the IRS, which What's is like the American version of, of like HMRC. Our tax. They love yeah, to tax. come. Let me One even. million dollars in tax is that generated over years and years i'm guessing or is that i'm just not over... sure when it's I'm, honestly i couldn't tell you when it was over generated but i think maybe maybe it was over a because co- there's maybe, no way in your, the first yeah. tax that you owe one million pounds no that's fucking dollars. even if you are i think uh, you have to be like an actual millionaire to probably owe like one million and ta- like a billion yeah probably a billionaire because it's not that it's like a percentage mi- like, let's just yeah. say hundred million let's just say maybe they yeah, maybe, yeah, yeah. let's say they made a hundred million yes or whatever yeah, or yeah, if yeah. you see to make they make a hundred million and they owe a million in tax yeah 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 which is absolutely fucking crazy. I mean, very. And this is the thing. So what people are saying is that Kim obviously had a very lavish lifestyle. She was on the gram. She had cars. She had houses. She's living the vida loca. Mm-hmm. And then now it seems like what people are saying is that she spent more, more than, what she, more than what she was making, including the husband's money. Huh? And now... Like, so spending yeah. his money too. Yeah, because he's a retired footballer, so he had the he had the um. Oh, that's a piss take, you know. He's not. Yeah, yeah football, he's probably yeah. not getting the same kind of he's income, but he's got income. his thing, like his so, savings yeah. and stuff. Now Ooh. they're getting divorced, but I feel like this is this is the problem with like social media and like sometimes you feel you have to live up to people's expectations, yeah. and a lot of times they're just not realistic. But she's always been like that, to be honest. Has she? She's always been like that. She's always been because obviously she used to have this sugar daddy. Yeah. And the sugar daddy oh, I think I remember this. Yeah, yeah I think papa, I remember this. Big bit. papa. She used to have the sugar daddy that used to fund this girl's life. Yeah. Like, and obviously, when she she now left Big Papa to go and marry this guy, she has to go back to Big Papa. <laughs> Would you ever do, um, what's it, sugar daddy life? Have I never told you about my sugar daddy chronicles? Oh my God, talk to me. First of all, you look like you have sugar daddy chronicles. I, <laughs> all right. Like, this is an exclusive, right? Talk to me. Because I was going to talk about impressed, but I thought, okay, just bring it to cocktails and takeaways. Like, fucking hell. So, right. So, I did try, I did indulge for like literally one minute. I thought, let's see what this, let's just see. Joyce, why do you want to talk to me all the time? Like, he, oh my God. Like, I, I remember, I thought. Wheel it back. Okay. Where did you meet him? So, he slid in my DMs. Okay. And he was like, oh, I can offer you like 10K a week. I was like, oh a week that's 40k a month i was thinking for what i was like uh i was like okay like i don't usually do this like oh my god i'm gonna be able to share with the story but it's really funny so like, fuck it let me see let's see because at this point in this life every man for themselves you know Big Make it to the top. do you know what i mean so i was like okay let me see what he's got to say like what is actually going on so then he added me on this other he was like oh you need to message him on this other app and i was like oh okay what's so, the app oh what's this app called seeking arrangement no it's like whatsapp but it's just not whatsapp Telegram. Yes! Sir! So it was like, oh, message me on Telegram. I was like, cool. <laughs> Joins. So then he, ma- oh, babe, I need to get up because it's just funny because I couldn't believe this. Babe, I couldn't believe this. Hi. Hi, baby. Where are you from? London. I'm like, and you. Uh, oh, but I need to tell you his uh, terms. And, oh, am I really doing this? Yes. Joyce. Yes, yeah, oh, you are. No. This is my, your BBC will not allow you to say what you want to say. Okay, anyway, that I don't think they would. No, it was just. Do you know what it was? Yeah, I think everyone is. Share, 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 share. Tell us the tea and the motherfucker biscuits. This I is just thought, you know what? Like, what the fuck? Like, everyone's okay. living this we high will, life. I, listen, you say your story, and I will tell you okay, my okay, story. Okay, okay, okay. Better. Thank you for like, yeah. like a harlot. Okay, so you actually that. really hell yeah. I did, fucking hell yeah, I did it too. Yeah, I did it too. <laughs> No. Okay, okay, so it's a I need to tell you. you what he said. He said, it was the baby for me. me? It's too much. You don't know me like that about baby. Huh? He, it was too much. I just thought, no. Nah. And he asked me, he, he just want to talk to me. And you know when you're the type of person when people actually message you, you take your time. Yeah. Nah, it was too much. It was too demanding. So he was like, baby, I would want you to be free with me. Okay, because all the babies live a stress-free life. So I think I'm trying to live a stress-free life too. And he was like, they don't worry about any of their bills and debts because I take care of all of that, by the way. Their weekly allowance of is certain every week. They receive 5,000 from me every week. 5,000 from me 
and also they go to the mall and they shop from an expensive jewelry and you know what's so funny i was thinking okay right if he gives me this much okay i can invest it in this i can do it in that i'm not even thinking about the jewelry i'm thinking about all of that i'm thinking about like mm. all right cool and then he and i'm saying to him oh yeah he was like how are you i'm like oh you know i'm good i'm going to church like all of this <laughs> the irony right yeah and then I need to tell you his terms and condition. What's the, terms of, <gasps> what's the terms and condition? Guys, I got to the stage where it was like, I was like, all right, cool, let me see. Cause if it's just a talking thing, that's like, talk, I don't really mind. But first of all, at least pay, like, pay for my time. Like, what the fuck? Oh my God, is this prostitution? I don't know, fuck. So he said, you, <laughs> he said, you must be honest and trustworthy with me. Okay. That's easy. Number um, one. You must be loyal with me. I'm a law babe, that's easy. Um, be free to share and tell me anything bothering your mind whenever you've noticed something isn't right somewhere be free to make suggestions 100% I didn't get that um, you must not argue with me that's when I said this guy is it's I'm very like argumentative if I like something I'm gonna tell you <laughs> and he said ask for nah when he said this I said nah what life is I don't like this he said ask for my permission before giving up my number and I was thinking I'm not gonna give out your number but even the ask for permission thing just I can just see the vibe. And it was like, don't hesitate to seek for my help whenever. He just wanted, I think he just wanted someone to talk to. And I was thinking, mm. Did he send you money at all? No, that's what I said. I said like, so I can't. just had to waste your time. Babe, I didn't even entertain it. I just thought, oh, this is long. I don't even have the time for this. Like, what the fuck am I doing? I just jumped out. And he actually messaged me every day. Like, hey, baby. Like, I'm like, I just air it. Just air it. So. Tell me about yours. I just want to say something. He just looks like a time waster to me. So you're definitely here for, if you're going to pay, fucking give it to me. Come on. I'm here for, okay, cool. So back in the day, yeah, obviously, you know, you know, big MJ's a motherfucking hustler or whatever. So I, I was looking to be a sugar baby in it. I wanted to be a sugar baby, but obviously like, I didn't just go jump in straight like you. I did my research. So on Tumblr. Ah, on Tumblr, <laughs> yeah. Back in the day, on Tumblr, there was a sugar baby community. If you guys know, you really? motherfucking know. There was a community, just like how like Twitter has the black Twitter and is it? And you know, wow, you're really dropping Twitter. gems today. There was a community of sugar babies, and you basically it was sugar baby Tumblr. Was so really girls would be though. giving advice. Girls would be like, okay, cool. This is how you you seek an arrangement. This is how much money I made. These are the spots, the hotels, the bars in London where you can find rich we men. We love non gatekeepers, though. We th do. This was a non gatekeeper community, and funny enough, I actually still have friends that I speak to oh, that I have on internet to this day that yeah. I met on the Sugar Baby community. So I wanted to be a Sugar Baby because when I first, basically, there's this website called Secret Arrangements, isn't it? And um, <laughs> basically, it's a it's a it's a website where you find an arrangement, a sugar. It's usually like for Sugar Baby, Sugar Daddy arrangements. Obviously, I'm a dickhead. Basically, let's keep it a fucking stack. Here. Yeah, let's keep it a hundred. Let's keep it a hundred. Sugar baby in is just prostitution, but with one guy. But do you have to? But is it actually to sleep? Because I this guy just wanted to. No one. Is, I know, okay, there's to sleep some. To me. If you're fucking lucky, yeah. if you're lucky, you will find a guy that will want to talk. And please, if you want to give me money to talk to you, I will talk yeah. to you every fucking day. I will say good morning and good night. But you but have to at least give the money up front first. Of because course, I'm, but let's keep it a stack. Yeah. Men will want something sexual. It might not yeah, be sex. I wasn't really about that. But of course they want, they might say, oh, let me see your breasts. Let me see your, yeah, I mean, come on. Like, I think it's, it's a very delusional for women to think that somebody's about to just give you money because and of course I'm sure there's guys like that but oh, come on like <laughs> wake up and smell the motherfucking yeah, espresso yeah. Some, coffee some girls Costa. are doing it for free so like that's what I'm saying so yeah. anyway it's cool so the girls were giving tips and stuff da, 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 da. so obviously I was on seeking arrangement so I was like I need to find myself a good sugar daddy and I'm gonna do whatever I need to motherfucking do Ooh, um, so I had a sugar daddy dates so after so basically how i was approaching it was very embarrassing because i was just approaching it like i was looking for a mentor i didn't know any fucking better and i was like oh yeah you know i'm just looking for someone to give me you know business ideas and tips and stuff meanwhile the girls on tumblr were just like let me show you my pussy and then they're like okay cool like bye. that i'm telling you that was how the cult the, the culture really they didn't give a fuck is is is, is, is glorified escorting like really but i didn't know that like, people just say oh yeah sugar baby is glorified escorting it, 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 it's basically es escort es like it's glorified yeah. escorting let's call a spade a spade so anyways i went on a date and um, it was with this like Italian guy. <laughs> and I was in, um, where was I? 
where was I? South Kensington. He lived in South Kensington. Ooh, he drove a Rolex. But honestly, this How guy, can you say he drove he a Rolex? Drove <laughs> Joyce, you can't come and kill me today. I want to live. He said he drove a <laughs> Rolex. <laughs> <laughs> Joyce, uh, well, I like it though. It might be a thing. He yeah. drove a Rolex. Yeah, he's he going with it. He drove a Rolex. <laughs> <laughs> and he drove a Rolls Royce. Is what I was trying to say. I was like, sorry, I even caught that. Best, a hot mess. A hot mess. I was like, girl, you should have just let me ride. I should have, but I'm just have to clock it. I'm gonna lie. I'd be saying a lot of really, really just fucking fugazi stuff on this show. But you have friends to just remind you. No, they just tell me nothing. They're just like, <laughs> okay, boo, do your thing, <laughs> girl. <laughs> like, my honestly, the amount of English I fucked up on this show. Anyways, I know everyone, I know the people who are listening to this right now, they've got their pens. It's like, Joyce, just finish the fucking story. Okay, <laughs> cool the fuck down. <laughs> <laughs> Like wait for a minute. <laughs> wait a minute. Right, we're getting there. This was the this was the um what do they motherfucking call it? This was a dramatic pause. Yes. Okay, cool. Okay. So anyways, I'm in the I go to this lovely Italian restaurant in South Kensington. Mm, the Italian. And that's how you know I'm young because obviously we was talking and basically what he does, so he's Italian and he's like, yeah, I have to call him Papa. He said I have to call him Papa. Obviously I'm an Nigerian woman, it's not gonna sound like it <laughs> so I'm just like, yeah, Papa. Yes, Papa. Papa. <laughs> yes, Papa. That's fine. <laughs> papa. <laughs> yes, Papa. Oh no, no, Papi. sorry, I lied. Not Papa. Papi. That was the. He said you have to call him his name. He, he, he had to call him Papi. I said it's even worse. Uh, yes, Papi. <laughs> <laughs> yes, Papi. Papi. That's fine. <laughs> you gotta say like, pa- is it yes, Papi? Ew. <laughs> you don't like that. It's a bit cringy, isn't no, it? When you do ew. happy. Yes, Papi. Like, sorry, can I just, can I, can we just take a dramatic break for a minute? Yes. What is us, what What are us black girls doing calling people Papi? Just yeah, because uh, there's no reason for it. There's no, oh my God, there was, I was looking at, I was watching a um, Beta Squad video yeah. and the girl was like, oh, she was like, she was talking to Finnish goes, hello, Papi, my name is um, was Bob. She, was she not? Wait, hold on. She was like, hello, Papi. My name is... Because you ha- you couldn't see their faces. Oh. She was like, hello, Papi. My name is uh, Jessica. I'm 20 years old. And then they're like, oh, where are you from? And she was like, yeah, I'm half Jamaican, half English. And then the boys are like, so where did the Papi come from? <laughs> because that where is did, awkward. Where did the Papi, papi come, come from? from? Girl, you ain't motherfucking Spanish. Sit your ass down. I'm screaming. I'm screaming. So you such a motherfucker. Don't, don't be using the word. Pa- I don't think. I don't think people who are not like Spanish From or Brazilian the heritage, heritage should be, just should be using, using word it. papi. Like I know y'all. Yeah. I know y'all be watching porn and stuff, but it's it don't sound nice. Yeah. Cause you, you y'all don't be saying um. What's it, you you, do don't say, you don't say you don't say that, and that's a nice, like. Do you know what I mean? Girl, girl. Anyways, sorry. Dramatic pause. Let's finish it. I'm good. I think there's more drink outside. Sorry, oh, is this apple juice? You don't like apple juice? No, I love apple juice. Do you want more? Captain Morgan's. Of course I do. Okay, sorry guys, we're actually gonna re-up our drinks at the moment. I'm sure everybody, do you know what? Don't you just love being on the seat of success to finish the story? They're like, fuck it. They're like, these guys Finish the story! No, we we need our break. You know what, we work really hard. Let's have our break. Come on, re-up now. Mariam. Yes, talk to me. The weather's fantastic, isn't it? Absolutely. You know, we're actually having good summer weather right now. Yes, we are, Tata. That's fabulous. Oh, God, Tiri. I love seeing the sun on this dainty day, isn't it? I know. I wish we had some sun rays right now. Yes. Yes. Joyce, what kills me is the fact you actually have drinks like she's at her bar. Look at the way The way she's pouring it is like, I'm a bar girl. Yes. This is my pub. Triple shot to you, Tata. Girl, put anything. Triple shot to you, Tata. Tata. Oh, thank you, my love. Tata. Cheerio. 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 Tata. 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 Fabulous Tata. Girl, you best pour yours. Yes, we've got no mixer. Yes, we do. Mixer's finished. No, it's not. Girl, that's literally the, that's like the, anyways. No, because it hasn't been in anyone's mouth. There's some outside. Unless I know, I don't know about that. Oh, we finished the Captain Morgan's You might as well finish, you might as well finish that. Tata. Tata. (laughs) See, guys, I'm actually a bad influence as much as she's a bad influence. (laughs) Tata. Okay, cool. Thank you for that um, advert break. Do, 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 do. I don't know what that elevator music. Anyways, back to the story. So yes, we talk are about your in, sugar We are in South Kensington. Yes. I'm with Pappy. 
<laughs> Papi. <laughs> I'm with Papi. Yes. And um, basically, what he does, so he makes the chemicals. So he he makes the chemicals that you put into things like hair relaxer, oh. uh, things like um, oh, hair relaxer, hair treatment. So anything to do, you know, a lot of black treatments yeah. have, they use a lot Chemical. of like chemicals our hair is quite for straightening yeah. and stuff like that. He's the one that makes the chemicals and provides it to those companies. Oh, so you're really with a villain right now. I'm 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 with an anti black. Yeah. F- Joyce. No, whoa. I know. Just fucking just, just fucking disgraceful, aren't I? But he wasn't anti black, he just was causing the he just anti- was he causing that. the anti black. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Imagine this guy is he's he's Spanish. No, he's Italian, excuse me. What did I say? Spanish or Italian? He's Italian. He's Italian. I think that we've got the Papi confused. Yeah, the Papi, sorry. Bit, but he's, he's Italian, Italian. Don't sorry. Worry, I'm, I'm completely throwing it over. He's actually Italian. He's Italian. Right. Um I'm remembering his face because we were at Italian restaurant. To so Italian restaurant, it's Italian. Yeah. Okay. In Kensington. In like, Kensington. Yeah. We, we all, yes. everyone okay. all caught up. We, we all, all know up. where we Fab. are. Perfect. So obviously, I'm sitting down and he's telling me and he's and he's like, yeah, you know, so you want to go home with me and stuff? And he's like, he said, how old am I? And I can't, I think I lied and said I was 19. These times I probably was like 16, 17. Oh God. Choice. I think I was like 17. No, I must have been 17. I told him I was 19. He goes, yes, I'm, you look very young. And I said, you know, the black, the black don't crack. You know? He's like, I'm going to see your need your pass. He asked. He told me he's gonna see need to see my ID, is what oh he said. Oh my god! What do you in a position like that when you're lying? So, trust me. Obviously, he didn't say. He just said it was like, like you know, like and I, I said, I'm gonna ID. need to yeah, see like, it. No, that's like show me your ID. Like, Oof, but he was just kind of like he was just like kind of imposter and stuff. So I don't know why this proper excited me, but what, obviously we had the Italian and it was like phenomenal. It was like a family Italian restaurant, and um, he, basically when it was time to pay he paid but then he left a tip and he literally put his hands in his pockets yeah and he it was just filled with coins so it was i swear to god it must have been like fucking 12 pound in coins but i swear i was like i just hit a motherfucker you got <laughs> gassed up. i said rich nigga eight figure that's my type <gasps> that's my type nigga that's my type i saw those 12 pound coins and i said you're killing me right now I said yes, Dad. I said yes, Papi. <laughs> yes, Papi. You, you, know, you said it like Papi. I said yes, Papi. <laughs> so, anyways, we left. We're walking down South Kensington. Yes. And um, I'm just like, oh yeah. Obviously, these times, yeah. If I was a fucking, if I was a serious babe, he wanted me to come to his house in it. Oh. But he was like, yeah, you want me to, you want to come to my house? Like, yeah. I will pay you. That's what he said. He said, I will pay you £350 to come to my house. Well, and at a 17 year old, like, that is a lot of money. That is a lot money. of money. And I said, I said, I threw, I chickened out. I said, sorry. I said, oh, I've got to go home, I've got to get the train. He goes, should I drop you to King's Cross? I drive a Rolls Royce. And I What's said, right I even said, I said, I said, it's okay. I said no. I said don't worry. <laughs> I can't make my. I can't make my whole way. Your senses came to you, and you realized, okay, this could actually go left. This could actually go left. I don't know this sense. man from nowhere. Um, nowhere, because babe, there's all these yeah. stories, and I you know you're even brave to go. You're even very brave to go. I give it to you. Listen, when you live in poverty, I have to do what I have to do. You got to do what you do. I knew that. I I think I knew within myself I couldn't. Yeah, do, like, I couldn't do the other thing. So then, yeah, that's how I took my little ass home to my mum's house yeah. in Bedford. You, you basically put you dip your um foot in the in the pond a little bit. You got yeah. a, a feel of the water. You said, mm, you know what? It's actually not for no. me. I went on one other sugar daddy day after. Oh, uh, maybe not. So what happened with this one? <laughs> Do you know what? And I feel like I really fucked the bag with this one. No. Because he was white. He was American. Yes. He worked in sustainable. You fucked up. He worked in sustainable. I'll tell you for free. He was an engineer in sustainable energy. Ooh, Something along the line. This guy he was white, fat, American, and he travels in and out of the UK all the time. I I met this one. I didn't even meet this one. I was thinking of Rage Run. I met this one on. Um, there's one black black dating African dating. So there's this random app where it's like you know, people who want to date African women can date on that app. So it wasn't even a sugar daddy app. It I was just, just dating I was for just your, scouting your for daddies. Yeah. yeah. So yeah. it was, but it was like African queen dating or something. Something fucking stupid. <laughs> only only we would only us that will get a fucking app that's like fucking african what? african queen dating, dating or so basically men that wanted to date specifically black women yeah or like african women would go on the states so anyways we met there met up with him 
I met him, I can't remember where I met, maybe Tower Hill. It was Tower Hill. Oh, I know Tower Hill. Yes, he was staying at Tower Hill in this like, I don't think Airbnb was a thing, but in like this serviced apartment. And I remember talking to him and we went for we went for Mexican. We went to this. Um, this is the first time I've ever had tapas. I've never had tapas Joyce, before. I said, "Stop trying to kill me today." I had never <laughs> had tapas. We now went for tapas, and I remember after the tapas. So you're was, saying tapas is killing me? Well, how's it? How's it? I say tapas. 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 No. Yeah, tapas. Tapas. Like, I, you say tapas. You say tapas. Tapas. Yeah. Oh, I say tapas. Is it? I'm sure it's tapas. I feel like it's tapas. Girl, you know I'm not fucking French. But I love it. Go on tap. Go to your tapas. Tell me about your tapas yeah, so right we now. Some tapas. <laughs> and um, after that, I remember we were walked along London Bridge, and I was thinking, I'm actually with this fat white man, oh with God. my young self. Like, what am my I doing? You know what you deep it like. People are someone people were gonna see me. Like, do you know what? Them girls that walk around their sugar daddies, big up fucking you. Big because you what was me a young bouncy? Yeah, full of old, life, was, like yeah, I was something eighteen yeah, young, year old babe, girl. You were a baby. I was young. I don't listen. Baby. I don't know how I was in. You were sugar Doing baby, fat, white man that was, was in fat? his fifties. He, he, he was big. Choice, wow. <laughs> <gasps> Anyways. But After the tapas, he walks me to the station. He goes, oh, I really like you. I want to date you. And then he, I swear to God, yeah. No, I must have been 17. Because the way I was excited about this money. Yeah, you must have been young. Yeah, he gave, I was like 17. I swear to God, yeah. This What's guy you? gave me 80 quid. <laughs> <laughs> and I thought I hit a lick. When you come from poverty, it doesn't, like, I it's, I yeah. Because I remember, my sister will probably remember. I called my sister Diola. I said, Diola, this boy, this guy gave me 80 fucking pounds. <laughs> <laughs> like, what's so funny? I can imagine that. Like, because I've got sisters, so you know where you're just yeah, yeah, God, God, I want to call my sister. That's oh so my God, listen, this dickhead actually gave me 80 pounds. No, Joyce. I Enjoy love it. dealing with the rich nigga. <laughs> I love dealing with the rich nigga. <laughs> you know what? you got to live in those moments. <laughs> I love story to I was so, I was so, so delusional. It was so, like, you, it was so you. funny. I think after, after that one, I was like, nah, this is not for me because yeah. to be, for this old nasty man to be touching me, I just, Babe, I just could, no. I don't not. think I could even go as far, like just the fact he wanted to talk to me and I was just like, you're doing too much. Like, why you talk? Like, he wanted to talk about, he was asking about, like he was asking me about things that I just thinking, I don't know you like that. And first of all, you haven't even given me anything. So why am I giving you like a little bit about, nah. No. No, no, I'm, no. I know me. I, I, I would, I think it'd be nice to have a guy to like give me all the money, but I just can't give back what they expect. There's no way. I do have some advice for you though. Give it, cause maybe I might go back there. <laughs> <laughs> I mean. If a guy, if, okay. What the, what I, from what I remember on the Tumblr days, yeah. If a guy's saying to you, listen, and then they want to do, I want to be your sugar daddy. I'm going to give you 5k a week. The first thing you have to say, just to not waste your time is, I, I, for, for you to even have a conversation with me, you need to send me 200 pound. Oh, I'm going to say 1,000. I'm just no, going to go, is, no, that too, is that doing too, too much? Just, just say 200. Is it? Because if you cannot send you 200, fuck, because today, if you're telling me you could afford 5k a week, yeah, like don't two hundred pounds is nothing to you. So I think if he cannot afford to cash up so you two hundred pound, yeah, he is the, he has no sugar, he has no splendor, he has no agave, he has no sweetener. There's nothing he doesn't because there's a lot of guys that pr- on the internet and that's what a lot on seeking arrangement they pretend to have money to talk to girls, but in reality. Cause see one but there's pee. no they don't need have money. to pretend they like, pretend stop pretending they pretend that's why he could be messaging you hi baby hi baby fuck oh. the baby no stop talking to me I, Nobody. I just don't want to talk to you if you're gonna do this thing ladies yeah I'm not sprinkle sprinkle <laughs> no give this <laughs> sprinkle sprinkle drop the gems if you're gonna look for a sugar babe sugar daddy and, and you're like okay don't let I need a conversation fee or whatever it is. I can't remember what they call it, but it's like, I would need, I need a, for, for me to, obviously there's a lot of fake guys around. Mm-hmm. I would need to open it, a conversation opener of 200 pounds, cash at me. If they cannot cash up you, That's they don't have money. Old. Do you know what? I told, I told the story of when the, I told the story of when um this guy was interested in me, him being, he wanted me to be his dom- dominatrix or whatever. And I said to him, this was very early on. I, t- I said, I told the story at Spotify. 
and I said to him, <gasps> okay, I need an opening fee. For yeah, you. I think I, I, said, I gave okay, the exact so same reaction. You're, just so I know you're, you're serious, I need an opening fee of £150. And he cashed that to me, he sent it to me. I said, okay, yeah, we can have a conversation now. You serious? You motherfucker serious? But don't you, okay, but Joyce, don't you feel though, like, once you start, it's like you're just in a loop. Because you, you know what it is, you just know you can get the money. It's mm-hmm. like, you know, like, oh, if I'm really like low, if I really want extra, if I just feel like it's that like, think of knowing that I just need to talk to some guy or whatever. Because What's you know the what? problem? Okay, let me tell you, okay, let me, t- oh, Joyce, let me say it. Go Men on. with power piss me off. Why do they have the power? Because I feel like, cause they've got money's power, babe. Money is power. Let's be real. Money is pa- money talks. So, but so is pussy. So, what's your problem? What's your point? Mm, you can get pussy for free. But they decided that they want your pussy out to pay for it, and they like. But if you're not giving it up, they can get literally but go get still, it for free. I love and I, and I don't. Like, and do you know what it is? Yeah, I just, I just find it really like. I love, I love, I like a strong man. Like I love mm-hmm. a guy that's about it and like su- successful. Mm-hmm. But when you have actual power and you not, I d- do you know I, what I, I mean? Like, do you know listen, what I'm talking you're about? Under, no, you no. Know, you're know. underestimating yourself. Let me tell you, there is nothing pow- more powerful than a woman. A man could I have money, that. and yes. I don't know. I I believe it, but I'm just saying I don't like. They men, don't have power. Men, no, babe, they do. They don't. I feel like they do. They don't. They do. They don't. I feel like they do. They don't. To a degree, then can we get say they have okay, a power? I can say degree. men have power. To, but a, over, to like a, a they do, no, yeah. they have the power in yeah. their world. Obviously, money is power. Yeah, but I feel like ASAP Rocky said it best. Everything that a man does, from the way he dresses to the way he wakes up and, and sprays his motherfucking cologne to when he buys his designer clothes, they do it all for women. As much as you have in a, 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 as much as a man having money, as long as I have this total in between my motherfucking legs, I have the power, honey. Believe okay. that. Because there's a lot of women that have men wrapped around their fingers and they have never slept with them. But the most, do you know what the most powerful thing is? Mm-hmm. Is when a man thinks he can sleep with you because he will do anything. You know how men are. When you say, you, you know how men are. Before they sleep with you, oh, they will do the world. They will buy you shoe. Yo. They will do flowers. Yo, they will they, be knocking on your door. Bro. They will lie on the floor oh for you. Oh my God. The, the minute you give it to them, pram, that's it. There is nothing more powerful than yes. a woman but I, Joyce, I hundred percent agree with uh-huh. you. But I just think that oh, you know what? I don't know where I'm going with this. But right, women, I believe that pussy's power. Mm-hmm. Pussy is definitely power because I thought I. Oh my god, I listened to this podcast right, mm-hmm. and this guy was saying this thing like a lot of like the most successful billionaires and the most successful men out there, they're not really calling the shots. If it's the woman behind that, it could be someone they're fucking, or it could be someone mm-hmm. that there's their wife or a girlfriend or a fling. They are whispering them sweet things in their ear to allow them to make their moves mm-hmm. because a lot of boys, like a lot of boys, men, whatever, that when they get comfortable enough, they can share the load and share like what they're going through and whatever, mm-hmm. whatever. And then they need a woman's advice. Like I mm-hmm. know that, like because we have um, empathy, mm-hmm. we have emotional intelligence, and mm-hmm. we all, as much as we're very emotional, we have that empathy. And you can't rule a world without empathy without mm-hmm. that n- nurturing nature so we do have the power but i just i just don't like men with power because they abuse it that's my thing i feel like once they you abuse it i feel like you would only feel annoyed at a men's power if you don't understand your own as a woman and i just want to say Ooh, something about you something. Send the shots no 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 <gasps> i mean no, 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 definitely not send the shots definitely not send yeah. the shots but i find it very annoying when women are re- their superpower is reduced to just being the nurturer and the emotional weight bearer is very annoying. Like what you just said, oh yeah, and we're sleeping because we're, we're the assistant to... to the man and his feelings and his emotions. Fair. And if you even like, if you even look at the structure of society, if you even look at the beginning of time, yeah, like the the influence has always been woman. The influence of Eve to allow Adam to eat the I apple. I agree like, with you. I think I think yeah, I get you. We've been in a society where we have been conditioned to believe that we are secondary to a man. But I really do believe that we are the superpowers. Like, Same. I was just talking to my personal trainer and he was like, listen, like, I know they always say the man is the household, but my wife is the one that calls the shots. Like, and a lot of times that is the case. No, I believe in that. That's the, that was so crazy. Like everything is like, honestly, I get like, I think we yeah. are the powerful ones. It's just, I find, Maybe, right, we agree the same thing. Yeah. It's just a point of men in power, even if they, even if it's fake power, yeah. 
I feel like they abuse it way more. So oh, I don't like when a guy's in power and that they just know how to take the piss with it. Do you know what yeah. I mean? And I, I don't like it. I don't like it saying it. Even something as simple as something even not even not even to the top of like a CEO, like a business owner, you can go to a club, babe, a bouncer, man, that little power he has. If he, he, if, oh, I don't, I just don't like it. That, you know, when it's like. But there's a power. I, I can't, I, mean, I don't like, there's a power when, yeah. when they, when certain men have like. Power. That they have a role where they can actually um, give it, authority. Yeah. And then they have this power trip and they can just be. Yeah, I, hate I don't, I don't like it. Yeah, yeah, I, I think that's what it is. Nothing, I don't like nothing, it. Nothing, nothing makes a man with a power trip fall harder than a woman that he likes. Ooh. I've seen men who are. The most motherfucking powerful. Yeah. Like I've been at the door to her to I've been at the door to fucking clubs. And I've seen how guys act towards other guys. Like, yeah. And a woman just comes in with her nice, sexy dress. And it's like, have you had a good evening? Oh, he's you gliding through, sister. Are you fucking <laughs> through? Are you gliding through. No hassle here. I see it all the time. Yeah. Like I feel like our superpower is not in like the way where like it's like oh yeah, like in, a, in an aggressive or authoritarian way. But I feel like when you tap into your energy, you don't even need to do all that. Like you can, you can, you can calm an aggressive man with us, with your, yeah, with your def- being, with your feminine definitely. being. And I do it all the time. And I, do you feel, do, would you say that you're in your feminine bag? Like I am the epitome of like feminine bag. You are, bag. you definitely are. Let me tell you one thing about me, yeah. I'm gonna be a freaking damsel in distress, even though I'm not in distress, yeah. even though I can actually do it myself. No, he, like I just love to make my man feel like he can save me. Like I just love it, I, I love it. I need to be better in that. Cause yeah. I really feel like I'm still in my, Miss no, be independent. Wanna, like you know, anymore. you've got your own. Like if, like honestly, I I got my own. It's fine. But when when you like, so I just like them to know that. Oh, you can save me. Even though I don't need to, but you I can do save me. I want to be a captain. I want to. I want to be a captain. I want to be captain. Save her. Save me. No, you don't want to be captain. I mean, I want to. You yeah, want to be. You want to be the whole. Her. Yeah, you want to be, be save. Save me. I want to be the. I wanna be the save but me. you can save yourself. Like, yeah. Yeah. I think I need to. I think I. I want to tap into that because I feel like a lot of men. Like I find that because of how I've been brought up. I've been really like, oh my God, I can do it myself, I can do it myself. And I don't want to be like that anymore. Like, I, I think I'm going to try and like pretend that I need uh, help sometimes. No, don't like, do like, Joyce, I literally know how to get to my own way. I can get to my own way. With act- First of all, you got to act so confused half the time. Like, you lot <laughs> might think I'm really ditzy, but I know what I'm doing. You got to act so confused because it's like, they boys love to, uh, boys, men, whatever, they love to feel like they can help. They want to feel like they're a man. They want to take over, take yeah. charge, like take lead. Let them take lead when you already know. Like, I know how to do this, but I'll let you do it. Like, that's how I do it. Especially things like cars, I let them be a man. Like, you know, there's certain things men need to be men for. Like, I would yes. let them be a man for, like, I can't change the tire, but I know how to call AA, like blah, blah, blah. But if I'm talking to someone, if I've got a man, I'll call him and panic. Like, oh my God, like I've busted my car. Like, what do I do? And he'll come save me. I and then he'll feel like a man after. He'll feel like, yeah, save I'm my a, girl. I'm a whole and he's going to think you need him when Loki, you do not. It's CNT, baby. Okay, guys, we are going to move on to our word of the week. And this week it is reinvention very exciting so you must learn a new way to think before you can master a new way to be and that is by Morianne Williamson so reinventing yourself is an empowering journey of self-discovery and growth whether that is after a breakup or if you want to just change there are always times we can create a new reality for ourselves and situations so have you had any moments where it's just like fuck it I want to be a new person oh uh, yeah all the time babe all the time, even right now, I'm a new person. I'm a new person. I'm just mm-hmm. the baddest I've ever been. I've been, never been this confident. And you know when you're like, I'm so sure of myself and I don't give a yes, fuck. I generally do literally. not give a F. Like, I am me, you either like it, you hate it, whatever. I'm here to live life. I'm here for a good time and just bossing it up. That's how I feel. I, like, I've been saying it since, since January, I decided that I'm going to be my bad be era. Be the baddest era you can be because you're young. First of all, you're making money and it's like, you can actually just be yourself and make money. Like, what the hell? We just want to do that. Do you? Absolutely. Do? I'm doing me. And I felt like I was really, I felt pressure from trying to please people and yeah. trying to fit into people's expectations of me. Oh, no, but same. now I'm just like, 
fuck y'all. Yeah. I'm a be me. Yeah. I'm a do me. Do you. I'm a flex. flex? I'm a stunt. I'm yes. a look cute. I'm a look fly. Come on. Uh, I'm a look clean. Keep going. Uh, I'm a look cozy. Yes, I'm a uh, look comfortable. I'm a look sexy. I'm a look how I fucking want to be. Thank you. And can we just give her for that? Because, <laughs> no, babe, you have to. Because what the hell? We, I really believe that we, as women, we've come a long way, especially yes. from the auntie era of aunties making you feel crap about era, yeah. your weight, your skin complexion, the way you act. It's like, nah, F you lot. <laughs> I'm gonna do me. And you're doing it. And it's so nice because what happens is you become relatable. Mm-hmm. Like, I'm not trying to um, do this picture perfect. How, no. You not do that. Thank you. We love it. Like, thank you for bringing us up. But now it's all about being the boss baby you are, being yeah. true to yourself, and just making your dreams come true. Like the hell, no Absolutely. one's stopping me. The Nobody fuck? is stopping me. Nobody's None. stopping you. And you're really like, I feel like, I tell you this, I just feel like you've always been the it girl. But I feel like just seeing you evolve and oh, just, God. you just, you just, you just, honestly, seriously, like you are the it girl. You and Adiola are just it girls. Like every time I see you guys, I'm like. Oh, I, but I feel like everyone's about. an it girl. You know what? Everyone is an it girl or main character in their world. Like you have mm-hmm. to, guys live life like it's a movie. Mm-hmm. Like no, I don't care about you lot. Like you lot watching me. Like it's it's my world. Everyone's living in it. Like that's the only period. way to survive. Because <laughs> period, it's your world, Joyce. It's Joyce's world, and everyone is living in it. You are the main character. You are the freaking star of this movie. Hello, it's motherfucking. Yeah, wave to your fans. Wave. It's motherfucking Bridgerton starring me, bitch. Come on. Come on. Come Ask on. about me. But I kind of <laughs> feel like I always love to reinvent myself. Before, yeah, I used to always to. like reinvent myself during like heartbreaks or when like at really yeah, low points, I just true. want to turn into another person. Mm-hmm. But I kind of feel like nowadays, like I'm just always trying to evolve my style. Like, um, elevate yourself. Elevate so myself. And not in like big drastic capacities. Yeah. But like, obviously I've been, I keep saying to the girlies, I'm more focused on like what I wear. And, yeah, like, we like, had this breaking chat. Breaking out my new yeah. outfits and stuff and just being that it girl and just really embracing yeah. it. Cause babe, um, so many people probably watch you, look up to you thinking, oh my God, like I'm like Joyce I want to be like Joyce and it's like some people watch you and some people watch me and they can't relate to me but they will relate Mm -hmm. to you some people watch you and they're like I can't relate to Joyce but they relate to me because it's like you're just being yourself unapologetically and I think that is the best way to just be like do you know what I mean Mm -hmm. and it's just I I see it like the evolution I think it's so good to like want to do better for yourself not for what not anyone else no trains it's just because I want better in life if it means you know Changing this, upgrading this, like switching this is like the mental first. It's like you you go for what you want and then the action follows, isn't it? Absolutely. Her. And here are some ways that I found that you can reinvent yourself. Ooh, so tough. first of all, we always have to reflect and set our intentions. So take a moment to reflect on your current situation and identify areas of your life that you wish to change or improve. What aspects of yourself do you want to reinvent? Set clear intentions and goals for your transformation, whether it's improving your health, pursuing a new career or enhancing your relationships. Be clear about your purpose and intention is key i feel like always have that that burning desire to yeah. want to change in whatever aspect whether that's physical whether that's mental whether that's in like your relationships i feel like just having that clear-cut idea like and it's sometimes like obviously like some girls are like yeah put it to pen to paper but i feel like sometimes you know in your heart what area you want to change about yourself yeah absolutely absolutely for me i think so like i'm gonna ask you a question quickly um what what do you feel like you've changed then like from you maybe like um, six months ago to now, like, do you have anything that you feel like you've changed in? I definitely feel like I'm in definitely more of a self love phase. Okay. Like, I'm really loving myself. I feel like I was very, very insecure and I felt like I was really struggling with fitting into what people thought were cool or what people thought were sexy. So I'm kind of like Ooh. changing the definition of sexy for me. Yes. I'm fitting it into yes. myself. Because Joyce, you, it's one of them things where it's like, if, if I can't fit into a category, if I'm not meant to be in a personal space, I'm gonna create my own lanes. And it's like, the f- you lot will follow this lane. I'll tell you for free. Period. So yeah, I love that energy. I really love Period. that. That's really love that. that. What are the ways that you find that like you set your intentions for reinventing yourself or? Oh, so definitely like the spirit of just like, I think with me, right? I be I know I'm a, I know I'm a character I know I'm a bit different and I'm I'm just something else so like being able to accept that this is just how I am like I love me for me like I'm just a happy go lucky like energetic girl so it's like I had to really 
like learn to love that and also be okay with being like that outside of like makeup and mm-hmm. outside of like hair like you know like the you know I've come from a beauty industry like that's just all mm-hmm. I've done so it's like coming out of that and just being able to be like okay despite that like this is actually who I am like is, is that alright with you Lord? like yeah. it's cool so for me it's just really accepting like I'm how I am and I love me for that and I hope people can just you know love me for that because it's always genuine like I just come with just I'm here for a good time mm-hmm. I'm literally here for a good time and good vibes period always uh, yeah and I think just just kind of like what's the word just being happy with who you are and also just making the steps of I go gym now I do all them things to just keep me happy I just all I wanted to be in this life is happy like content with life happy and that's my like way like just keep I guess I don't know if I made sense but yeah. no absolutely 100% make, made sense and then the second one is embracing new experiencing mm, experiencing <laughs> embracing new experiences so reinvention often involves stepping out of your comfort zone and exploring new opportunities embrace Ooh. the unknown and be open to trying new things whether that's learning a new skill traveling to different places or connecting with new people or the little things like trying a new motherfucking hair style. <laughs> yeah, change. They always say that when you're out of your comfort zone, that's the best way to build character. Mm-hmm. So um, I'd say like, for me, it would be making it. That's out of, out of my comfort zone because yeah. it's so personal and it's so raw and it's like, okay, I'm really actually showing everyone like the, the good, the bad, the ugly. And I think that's good. And also just trying new challenges, like trying to go into more hosting, presenting. And do you know what I mean? Doing little things like that brings you out of your comfort zone. I think that brings character. Like, what do you do? Yeah, you've been doing a lot. You've been really trying everything. I feel like I've been making myself uncomfortable. And I feel like sometimes uncomfortability mm-hmm. can be a good thing. I I've agree. been, like, obviously, in terms of, like, my physical appearance and stuff, I've been trying things that I normally wouldn't wear because it's like, oh, my God, I don't want my arms out. Oh, my God, I don't want my belly out. And Embrace I'm just kind of like, it, it, Joyce. I've just been embracing it. Been embracing the new hairstyles and been embracing, like, yes, looking ugly on the internet. Yeah, who gives a fuck? Big, like, like, I'm really in my, like, in, doing things yeah. that make me feel a bit like cringe or a little bit out of my comfort but zone. But do you know what you're it. doing? You're just being a normal, you're being a normal human being with dreams, with everything. Like, yeah. and I feel like that's just so nice to watch. Like everything doesn't need to be perfect. Oh my God, I don't like seeing perfect. I like seeing drama. I like seeing stress. I like seeing someone True. upset, happy, everything. Cause it's like, I've been through this. I get you girl. I love you girl, you know? I love you girl. <laughs> <laughs> and finally we've got, um, cultivates a positive mindset so a positive mindset is crucial for successful reinvention surround yourself with supportive and like-minded individuals who uplift and inspire you challenge negative self-talk and replace it with affirmations that reinforce your self-belief and worth embrace failure and take it as a learning opportunity and stay resilient in the face of setbacks i love that that was fabulous okay so yeah i hope that really helped somebody and you can motherfucking reinvent yourself as many times as you want i feel like i'm reinventing myself every other week and i'm happy with that because every level of reinvention is a new level of growth is a new level of mental advancement so don't feel like you have a couple of reinventions in this lifetime. You can reinvent yourself as, as many, many motherfucking times. times as you want. Mm-hmm. Per cocktails and takeaways. Before we start dilemmas, I want to make sure that you guys are using the hashtag C and T podcast, and also. I want you guys to do me a favor because we have the live show coming up. Yes, we have the live show coming up and I want to do something on stage that will require you to send me voice notes. So I'm not sure if I should do a WhatsApp, but for you guys that are on Instagram, send me a voice note and I want you to tell me what is the naughtiest thing you done at school? I want to know the chaotic stories of what you got up to while you was in education in the near Shan. Mm-hmm. So if you guys can send me voice notes, possibly it will be picked for the live show and read and played out for everyone to motherfucking hear. So I'm going to be doing this every week. But yeah, make sure you guys send the voice notes and just, I'm going to do a WhatsApp. But for now, just send it to me on Instagram. Mm. And yeah, per. So here we are, dilemmas. Y'all already motherfucking know that the bad boys and girls are very chaotic people. We know. We know. You lot are crazy. Very, very crazy human beings. So they have sent us some dilemmas and we are going to try and help them because honestly, as the Christian woman we are, 
it's very important that we we help the people with sense and with god with sense and with god so dilemma number one i am a woman my close male friend keeps trying to get involved romantically with my close female friends behind my back and it wouldn't be an issue if he didn't treat women so badly he's emotionally unavailable plays women constantly and i keep reminding him how he should be treating women i don't want that for my friends but it's hard to say it without sounding jealous and if anything happens they'll be coming to give me story what should i do she needs to tell she needs to, but i would personally tell my i'm very like if he's my male friend i'm telling him stop it i don't like it like these are my friends if you're going to talk to them can you talk to with them with respect like don't take the piss and i'll also tell my friends like he's not serious Agreed. i'll be like he my he's not serious if you want a guy if you want a good time yeah go for it he's not serious because yeah. I'm not going to be in the middle of a situation when I, especially when I could have said something. You know, when you get yourself involved, you don't even get yourself involved, but it's just you're involved. I don't know. I hate that, Joyce. I hate all of that. I'm going to tell you, I'm going to tell you. If you don't want to do it, that's that's calm, but do not come to me like I, I told you not to do this. I've told you what he's like. No, I don't have time. I 100% agree. Yeah. I feel like being the friend of the friends that are in these weird relationships is so fucking awkward it's awkward i don't mind being i don't mind looking like the motherfucking jealous friend i don't mind listen i would tell him as a respect as a woman i think i think my loyalty to women is always going to be stronger to friends regardless if i have a male friend like to be honest i love my guy friends i I I love my and i have really good friends and it's good as well if you're the type of girl that can talent your guy friend like no you're you're moving mad like you're moving wrong you so you wrong you wrong you wrong but if it's a thing where he doesn't listen yeah i would then go to the girls and be like guys i'm sorry this is my guy but if you want headache go there go for it if you want stress fee leave it leave him if that's you, what it is like i'll tell you lot like if you want a guy that's just gonna give you empty promises a good time probably good dick but yeah that's about go for it but do not come back to me and complain because i've told you he's not about it he's out uh, because uh, anytime there's joyce there i have guys oh my god i have my f- guy friends i'll be like oh like adiola 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 i'll be like i'll be like no you're not fucking serious. And I'll tell Adjo that they're not, I'm like, babe, yeah. he's not serious. He's not serious. Like, cause it's like, what's the point? Like, I'm not in the middle of that. If it's someone I don't care about, cool, go for it. I don't really care. But when it's my friend, hell to the no. Hang it up, flat screen. Hang it up, flat screen. So yeah, be honest, be transparent. And I feel like it's so important. And like, it's so important as women. Yes. That we check our male friends. 100%. Because I feel like, there's a lot of pick me girls. Let's talk about that. There is, There's there a lot are. of pick me girls. I was once a pick me too. We've all had a pick me moment for cock, okay? Hello, for my wifey, name is Joyce and I've, I've now been a pick me. We've all been a pick me at one point in our mm-hmm. lives because it's like, yeah, let's 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 ride for the men because we want to ride their dicks. Like, yeah. yeah. We want to be the wife. Like, we want to be wife. So yeah. let's just. Yeah. I'll but. Be it's important that if a guy has a friend who's a woman and perhaps his experiences has taught him to treat women badly, yeah. that you put your friend in motherfucking uh-huh. check, period. There should be no time as a woman that you have a man that's a male and you are allowing him to do hanky panky and you are co-signing it. I do not tolerate that, No. period. We do not tolerate that, period. 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 I like that. Period. Period. (laughs) I feel like you were the one that's like, period. Yes, I did the the hand. Love it. And the the purr. Because I learnt purr from you. I was like, what the fuck is purr? It's just motherfucking purr. (laughs) 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 So, dilemma number two. Joyce, my friend stinks and I'm pissed. I beg her to look after herself bathe more often buy her perfumes and stuff everything but she doesn't change how many times can someone say the same thing i give up man she's my friend and i love her but fam fix the fuck up Where's the dilemma? I think she's just venting. That sounds like a, that sounds like a shit. So I'm just Joyce, venting. my friend, motherfucker, smells so bad. There's no advice. There's no more advice to give. What are you asking for? You're just saying your friend smells bad, basically, and you've tried. She's tried. Oh, I feel like this is giving me a bit of deja PTSD. vu. PTSD. Are you getting PTSD or deja vu? No, I feel like we had a similar 
dilemma when I was on your show about two years ago. What? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Oh my god, I know. I I know we've had this dilemma before. Okay, let's remember. let's revisit. Sometimes deja vu. I can't remember. Okay, what would you do in this scenario? Right. Okay, Joyce, I stink. You've given. I stink. Obviously, you stink. I, I stink. What are you gonna do? You're you're venting to Adjola. Tell me what you're gonna do, or or Nella, or whatever. Anyone in my circle you have tried with me, like what do you do now? I stink, and you I'm not taking what? the message. Stinking is hard, you know. Stink. I remember. And it depends the type of stink. Bo. I think you can tell your friend, babe. You need deodorant. I I will tell my, guys. I will tell my friend because there's no way you're gonna embarrass my friend, or there's no way you're gonna be around us and someone can say something. You stink. Tell me if I stink. If I got something in my tooth, tell me. If my wig's lifting, tell me. If I need, I need to know. Because sometimes you just be a bit wrecky. You. It's true. It no, does really. depend on the smell because it could be a beer. But then bo yeah. smells have a spectrum. It could really? be a fresh bio smell, like as in like it's hot, it's sweaty, or it could be like the staler bio smell where it's like it's been there for a long, long time now. It's got a bit of a tang to oh, it. God, not the tang. It's a different type of bio smell. You can tell the bio that's been there, that's settled yeah, on the skin. Yeah, of course. Then you have the friend with the house smell. <gasps> So not that she doesn't house. smell like bio, but she smells like the obono stew that her mum made two days ago. That's a whole. That's another smell. But that one is a rela- I can. I. I. That smell for me. I can relate to that too. Yeah. So it's very easy to be like, babe, you smell like your mum's cooking. We need to get but you perfume right bad, now. There was one girl at school. Yeah. Oh no, oh, not at God. school. That's the hard the times. Day. Hard times. And she used to smell like fish. Oh. <gasps> But I know it was because her mum was cooking, was cooking fish. fish. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But she used to have this very distinct oh, smell no, of just. Poor girl. And nobody fucking told her. That's you. She has no what, real yeah, but what, what the fuck? Could, like, you can't tell me I smell like fish. Tell me. So what? Should I just tell her mum to stop to stop no, just cooking tell her, No, all you have to do is tell her like with your with your clothes. Try it when your mum's cooking. Te- like, do not be around the cooking because if she needs her school uniform in her room, is because that's what I'd say guys it's a hard that's hard like i feel like for me Mm -hmm. it depends on the proximity that's true that's very true because i have a friend her name is cash that's my bestie no, you dropping name. What are you trying to say? What are you saying? No, that's my bestie. Yeah, I know. Oh yeah, not me dropping name. Yeah, because you're like I got friends. No, she does the smell. She does the smell. Okay, I was making but sure. There was, like if there's something where, because she's my sis, like yes, there's sometimes when we go to the gym and it's like oof, it's like girl, you need to motherfucker spray that deodorant. Yeah, yeah, Same yeah. Same thing with me. Like my sister will be like, just go and go. And, you smell like outside or yeah, you smell like yeah, that's fine. You smell like bio. Go yeah. and spray. Go yeah. and do something. Like it's proxy. There's some friends. That, that you, you can, can you have can them have conversations. conversation. With. Like, and do you know what, I, Joyce? I 100% agree with you because, like, it just depends how close you are and how much, like, you know your friends know that they won't take it. Like, you attacking them more than I'm trying to help you. I love you. I care yeah. about you. Because do you know how mad it is to say to someone, your breath stinks? Or, babe, you smell like fish. Yeah. It's, I can't even say it loud because it's a lot. Like, it's a lot. It's a lot. So it's all about, and it's not, do you know what, Joyce, is about? It's not what you say, it's how you say it. It honestly is how you say it. You can be like, someone's breath will stink. And I'm like, babe, I'm having gum, I have gum. I don't need to say their breath stink. I'm like, I have two. It, it, like, <laughs> oh, 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 have, like it's, you just have, have to, the whole packet. Have it all. <laughs> but it's how you say it. It's like, you just got, and I always like to kind of like, make sure it's like not on them. I'll be like, oh, babe, I'm having gum, I have gum. Or, oh my God, I stink. And then I'll be like, babe, spray. So they don't feel What's like, like you're no, t- I'm good. Bitch, spray. I will say no. I'm like, babe, spray. We all need. To, we all. I'm like, we all. I stink. We all stink. Like, just so they don't feel like you're attacking them. Because yeah. the worst. I think the worst thing is outside embarrassment. My parents always said this to me, and I'll rate them for it. Um, people outside won't tell you the truth. It's the people that care for you and love you that'll tell you the truth. Agreed. And if you can't take it and understand that we love you, then okay, you're finished because yeah. you're never gonna get it. So yeah, that's hundred yeah. percent true. I feel like, sorry, if we're not G's like that, I'm not saying that you smell. But if we're G's, if we're G's, oh, I'm trying to think now. No, you can't tell a person that you don't need to say. Yeah, you don't need to say the smell, but you can just be like, everyone, perfume time. We all stink. That's what I would do. If I know there's one person that stinks, I would. But everyone, perfume. Like I, that's just how I am because. I don't like it's the worst thing is knowing that you could have helped your friend or some you could have helped when and it's like without trying to be awkward. You got to just make sure that they don't feel like it's an attack. It's all of us. 
we all we all shit. We're all not just shit. We're all shitting. We're all no, smell. No, we're all no. shitting right now. I, do you know what? I might take. I might do that if the Try person it. Really smells. It's just yeah, like, just but everyone is perfume time. That's what you got to do. I remember I did tell a friend that she did smell. You told her. Oh, was she I'm close? Like, were you close like that? I her? was close with her. Good. But she was like, I don't smell. I don't. She told me, Oh no, I don't smell. I don't think it's me. Look, no, I don't think it's me. I, I showered today. Like she was. She told me it wasn't her. What can you what what can you do in those situations where the person is telling you? No, about, then you. I'd be like, no, I'd be like, no, no. You, because do you know what thing my friends would tell me? Listen, Steph will tell me, Maz, you, your house smells like me, like dog. And I'd be like, oh, fuck. Because sometimes you don't even know it. I'd be like, yeah, does yeah, it? And yeah, I'd be like, okay, spray. And I'll tell Steph, Steph, gum, Matt. She'll be like, Maz, deodorant. It's just natural because it's yeah. like you're just checking your friend. And if I can whiff something. If I can, someone else can. And Agreed. there's no way someone else is going to now come and go on Twitter or blah, blah, blah and just try and chat about my friend or chat about me. No way. Joyce, if you stink, bitch, I'm telling you. Please tell me. No, I can, I can handle that. If my breath smells... Yeah, you tell, smell, tell me. Please, Even I if I've got sleep in my... Both up my nose, tell me. Because some of you just you. don't know. Like, I'll And the you. worst thing is when you see and you think, why didn't anyone tell me? Like, you'll be watching videos about you be like, why didn't you not tell me? Like, what the fuck? I'm telling you, you got lipstick on your teeth, babe, your hair. Like, that's, yeah. that's, 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 that's me, good yeah. vibes. That's a good friend. Yeah, that's like, a good friend. That's if a good someone's friend. telling you, don't see it as a hater. They actually love you. Like they don't want you to be embarrassed. They don't want you to be embarrassed. They don't want people to be talking shit about no, you and all that stuff. I do want that. But I feel like, to, 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 in regards to the question, I feel like the girl should still say it. Yeah, she has to say it. So I'm gonna go to the final dilemma. Hey, Madam Joyce and guest. So my mum has been seeing her new boyfriend for over a year, and I love him to bits. I would love for both of them to get married one day. Problem is, I think my mum is still seeing her ex. Yes, it's deep. I love my mom, but at the same time, I feel for her current man. He looks after us, buys us things, and literally a father figure to me. Mom, mom's ex comes around when he's not here. He doesn't live with us, and I see how she is when he's around. I don't know whether to speak to her or stay out of her business. I love her, and she's not a bad person. I just feel for her current partner. Girl, now she fucking snitching on your mama. I know. <laughs> <laughs> don't you think about your own future, not your mama. No, yeah. Girl... <laughs> Let your mama do her motherfucking thing. Because yeah, <laughs> being a woman is hard. Like, I'm being a woman hard. with a child. Like, what the fuck? It's harder. Mind so your what, motherfucking what's your, business. Well, what, what's your point? I'm sorry, daughter. Mind your fucking business. Yeah, Son, actually mind your own. Mind your fucking mama. Don't listen. This is big. This is adults' business. I'm sorry. Just stay out of it. Enjoy. Enjoy, enjoy enjoy the the luxury of the the current man. Yeah. If they marry, close your eyes. That's so she like, likes the old man and not the current man as much. No, she likes. I think obviously she's seeing the current man. No, no but the kids. Okay, the the kids okay. obviously were the one that wrote in. So she likes the current man. No, she likes the old man, not the current man. He's literally a father figure to me. So the old man. No, the new current guy. So Oh, okay. So she likes the current guy and he's a bit more stable and she feels yeah. like, okay, this is a good dad and a good husband for my mother. Yeah. But the mother's linking her ex. Her ex. Mm. The dick is just better. I feel like mama is just thinking the dick is even, the dick is definitely better. She's like, yeah, the dick is better. Because why you, if you've got someone that's stable, your kids love him, what's missing? Dick. Dick. And a bit of chaos. Yeah. Sometimes we just love a bit of toxicity. Sometimes a little bit of my... A dash of toxicity. Just a little bit. Mum is outside like that. Yeah. Oh, I love that. Sis, do you? Do you know what? Yeah. Fucking mind your business side. I'm on yeah, your mum's side. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, I'm on your mum's side. Just mind it. But I'm a toxicity. But woman. she should talk to her mum, though. To say what? I mean, just to say, mum, what's going on? Like, I okay, like this yeah. guy. Because I think, you know, sometimes, like, mother, like, at the end of, listen, I'm going to say this for real, man. Can't lie. Mm-hmm. You might be mad at this, but live for you. But remember, your actions affect your kids. I agree, you know. Your actions, like, kids see so true, much that you, know. like, you probably won't think they see. They take in so much. Like, I, as I've, like, just been so much, like, understanding of who I am, I've had so much trauma that I didn't realise until when I really clocked the trauma. So mm. it's, like, things that I probably shouldn't have seen when I was young, I saw. So it's, like, parents, as much, live your best life, but also remember, like, your kids watch as much as you think they don't or they take in little things as much as you think they don't. They do, they do. So I just see it as... You know, that just be was careful. Really wise, Mariam. Really, yeah. I've spoken myself today. I, I, I've actually changed my mind now. Really? Shit, oh, like we love that. I've actually changed my mind. No, that was really wise. Oh wow, that was really okay. Wise. Can I get a moment? Sarah, join. I, I agree. <laughs> I feel like I do feel like. Do you know what I mean? Like, yeah, just have the conversation because right. I think sometimes we get so lo- like be you, but at the end of the day, remember, 
you chose to be a parent and a parent you have to parent your kids and if you're actually they they follow by example i can't lie we yeah. see a lot of stuff and we just don't realize until maybe later and if she's seen stability with someone yes go yes, for that like, like just have the conversation if 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 there's an opportunity for that child to have stability yeah especially if we're talking about you obviously your mom is not with your dad yeah and the ex you're not referring to as your dad so that means mom has it's outside outside so we're talking about your dad, not dead, the ex, and then the new man. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> your mom is outside, which is yes. fine. But that's true. That is really true. Yeah. I feel like have the discussion with your yeah. mom. Especially with relationships and it's men. Di- it's it, very it, yeah, difficult, it's difficult to have a man to come into your life yeah. and want to play a father to you. Yes. Especially if you, like, a lot of men, they were because I remember I had a stepfather at one point in my life. Joyce, you should write a book, you know. I've suffered. Uh, so you need to write a book as some like wait a bit, like, live a bit it's a more. New story. It's yeah, a you new need story. to write a book because I'm just like what? Wait, when? Why? At one point, and um, I kind of felt like he was more there for my mum and okay. not for me. Okay. So it's like yeah, like he he liked my mum and he was a lover of my mum or whatever, but he was very much there to be my mum's boyfriend as opposed to be a father. Yes. So for for the fact that he is has taken a father role to a child that's not his and he's looking after you because my stepfather fam if i like he said if i like let me go and fake somewhere <laughs> like he just didn't care like and, and sad, fam, do you know what i mean i'm laughing sad i feel like you should have that conversation because any opportunity for somebody to have stability i'm for i completely fucking went 180 yeah. there i f- i went 180 there do you believe oh sorry to i just know we we guys we have been talking but i just want to ask you this question right do you believe that then like as a mother or mm-hmm. as a, yeah as a mother do you think you have a choice to pick between oh joyce we could get really deep right now we could get really deep so as a mother do you feel like you know you can do you think you have to pick between stability mm-hmm. and love especially when you're a mother with kids because i think it's different now because it's like i have responsibilities like you probably have someone, right? Listen, that's amazing, everything. But are you stable? Can you provide yeah, for my kids? Agreed. And you probably might have someone that's not like the you're not in love like that. But he, stability. I need my kids to grow up. Like, do you think? What do you think? I think once you have kids, your priority should always be how that man fits into your family. Yeah. And okay. I feel like that's that, that that's a problem. That sometimes like I understand like when you're a single parent, you want love and stuff. But if you're if that man cannot take the responsibility of, of your, you yeah, and your children, yes, then you just need to let it go. Fuck the love. Yeah, if you like love me, die. Fuck the love. <laughs> Especially if your children are young. It's different if yeah. your children are like we've all moved out. Yeah, like, da, 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 da. Joyce. Yeah, hundred percent, hundred percent. I agree with you. Yeah. So if one thing you don't want is. Is, is a man being bouncing in and out and that's what, what your children I can see no and like, then it, like there's something that is like a, it's like a trickle down effect mm-hmm. oh god being a woman and it's just hard anyways, anyways we're trying our motherfucking best but guys we are gonna close there because girl the drunk has caught me but I, we're gonna close it that has been a very 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 special episode thank you so much for coming Maz. how the fuck did we find you on the bum buckler place I don't have no... I'm just here, babe. I'm here for a good time. You know, half the stuff I get on, I'm like, let's go. I don't mind. Like, Let's I'm, do I'm, it. Some of them are like, why am I here? But let's go. Per. Where why am I here? I don't know. Per. Where do we find you on the internet, sis? Okay, so you guys can find me on YouTube at, at Marion Musa. Per. Instagram is it's Marion Musa. Um, Twitter is it's just commotion, but it's Miss Marion Musa. TikTok is it's Marion Musa 1. <laughs> Find yeah. me there. She she there. She there. She actually. Just put my moose you find me. Honestly, I love and appreciate you. Thank you <laughs> Thank so you, much boy. for coming. Thank you so much for listening. And guess what? We are gonna be back next week with another bad boy or another bad girl. Yes. We're gonna have a motherfucking time. But with that being said, have a phenomenal week. I am out and I will see you next week, Wednesday, hopefully. Ooh, 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 ooh. <laughs>